Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to some Rim World. We're back with the sound alert of a raid. Uh, we're back into our colony, working on a bunch of things. We have too many resources. Like, look at look at this. Look at this junk. Like, so much junk. So much good junk. It's good junk, but still, it's a lot. It's a lot of junk. I keep burping. It keeps coming back up. My good to stop. Anyway. Oh, wait. Wait, oh, okay, no. Yeah, I was like, why isn't this being fixed? I remembered. I remembered. I need someone to hold the wood. Uh, do we have wood? Wood. 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 We have nine wood. Huge. Uh, so, we're working on better stuff. We're working on better genes. People are sick. It's a great time. Uh, but I need wood. I'm out of wood. We need wood. Wood would be good. Wood. Good. Wood. Done. Wood. What is the sound that uh, can be used for sound alerts? More sounds that can be used for sound alerts. Yeah, it's not enough, is there? It's only the uh, RimWorld Raid and RimWorld Critical Alert. And that's it. That's all I got. Oh, you know what's funny? I added a new sound on, like, Wednesday to one of the sound alerts, and I don't think it's come up yet. I'm not going to say which one. <laughs> because it's a, it's not as... Like, it's one of the ones that has multiple sounds. It's... Oh, oh I can probably just say. It's uh, the You Are Dead one. Uh... You Are Dead has a new sound in it, but it hasn't come up yet. I oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> there it is. Amazing. Came up straight away. <laughs> oh my god. I love it though. I love that one. I am dead. I am dead. I like it. I like it. I can't believe it came up straight away. But yeah, I added that one on Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> and I completely forgot I'd done it. And I just remembered now. I'm like, it hasn't come up. I haven't heard it. So I'm like, it mustn't have come up yet. Anyway, there you go. That's the new one. Uh, I gotta I gotta do some more new sounds though. I gotta make some command-based sounds. Like everyone else does command-based sounds. And I'm just here with my just very few reward-based ones. It's just, it fills up the rewards queue with just sounds. There should be commands. There should be some commands, you know, some commands. It's not not capable of doing that currently in my current system, so I'd have to redo some things. But also, where's my wood? Where's my wood? I need some wood, please. Gray person. I don't know why they're gray. Still don't understand it. Still don't get it. Don't get it. Anyway, we're back. We're doing good. Things are happening. We're having a great time. I just realized I would have wasted a freaking archite capsule on that, which is pain. <laughs> I can't install it. I wish there was a way to strip them of their freaking germline ones. <sighs> I can't put this on them. The resulting metabolism would be too low. I don't know why it will be too low. Like, it's hard to tell what would have done that. Because its metabolic efficiency is zero, and their metabolic efficiency is zero. So something's cancelling something out, which would make one of the, this one negative nine. So, it's probably that and something else. The strong melee. Hmm. Pain. It's a pain. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I want the stuff holded here. So I can fix it. And we're sick. We're all got the flu. How you doing, Raid Rat? How's your long rut? I think it's fine. Yeah. I think it's because it's perfect timing. <laughs> it was perfect timing. I am dead. I am dead. All right. Uh, healing enhancer. I think we're about to get a raid, so I don't think I can put any in. Yeah, that looks like a raid moment. That looks like a raid's coming. That gap 
looks bigger than this gap looks bigger than this gap the rain gaps have been so weird it's all over the place at the moment i don't know what's going on it's weekly right yeah it's a edited clip from from portal 2 where he says i am not dead i just removed the not because I saw a, um, a short, a YouTube short with it, and I just found it hilarious. So I just made the sound for myself. I'm like, I'm gonna add it. <laughs> uh, but he says, I am not dead. And I just clawed out the knot. So it just says, I am dead. Funny. Because it's funny. The com comedy. Full of comedy. The uh, YouTube one also has a scream at the end, but I'm like, I couldn't find it. I couldn't make it work. So I'm just like, nah, I'll just leave it how it is. Let's make him laugh about it. Just leave him laughing about it, I guess. Not make, leave. God, oh, good old Wheatley. He was such a good addition to that game. Wheatley was a really cool character for Portal. <laughs> Plus this Wheatley in Neurotoxin Chamber implodes. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so so good. Portal 2 was amazing. I played that so many times when it came out. Like continuously. I played it through once. I'm like that was so good. Played it through again. <laughs> that was so good. It was so ex I was so excited. It came out like I think like 12 hours earlier, early, not earlier. 12 hours early as well. Which is really cool. They did a whole challenge thing to make it come out earlier. But then people are like, this is rigged. It won't come out any earlier, like, with the current rate it's going. Like, it wasn't going fast enough. So they just, like, sped it up. And then suddenly it just ended. And it's like, oh, yeah, here it is. It's released now. Uh, <laughs> it was so weird. I can't remember what it was. It was, like, some... Something on Steam that they had got to release early. Anyway. Anyway. Why hasn't Valve made more Portal or Half-Life games besides Half-Life Alex, I guess, which was a VR game, which is not really a normal game. VR games are not the future. Valve was trying to make VR games the future. VR games are not the future. VR games are good for certain things. They're not good for regular gameplay. They're like a, they feel like a novelty to me. Virtual reality feels like a novelty. You have 40 hours in Portal 2? Let's see how many I've got. Let me see. Portal 2. 71. 71. Lord Gaben doesn't like counting past 2. I know he doesn't. But that's why he's made Counter-Strike 2 instead of Counter-Strike 3. <laughs> so that if he makes a Team Fortress game, it'll be Team Fortress. Not Team Fortress 3. It'll be just Team Fortress. If they make, a, um, if they make another Half-Life game, it won't be Half-Life 3. It'll be Half-Life and then some kind of descriptor name, like Half-Life Alex. It'll be Half-Life with some descriptor and no number. There won't be a three. There's never a three. <laughs> it may be a third game, but it won't be the third game. I mean, they put a cliffhanger at the end of Alex that kind of continues on the story. And it's like, oh my god, I'm not going to say what it is, but like... It's kind of like, yeah, that means that means they're making another game, right? Don't know. Team Fortress Heavy. <laughs> it's just the Heavy. It's like a story-driven Team Fortress game about the Heavy. Oh, what a lovely game that would be. All right, can someone haul this wood in? Mad Wild Boars. There's my raid. That's a lot of boars. That's a lot of boars. Okay, well, everyone in the walls, animals... No. In the walls. Uh, you come up here and close this door for me. Wait. Good stuff. Uh, and then we might as well turn the building again because we're not going to get that done. Oh, hiccups. There we go. Oh, we can fix that door finally. Have you seen the videos for the trailer for uh, his announcer pack for Dota 2? I think I have. I can't remember. But I'm pretty sure I had seen it. Sorry, please. He's dead. 
I am dead, Sand Rufy. How you doing? How you doing? Dead tired? No, I'm not really that tired, actually. There we go. We're for trading those. Get rid of them now. Uh, they, they didn't like this comedy thing, I'm pretty sure. I apologize for the gibberish. I'm kind of running on fumes. I still have three hours left. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Have we finished this research yet? No. DJ Virus? Yeah. Yeah. I've already got one though. It's over here. I've almost stopped. Ah, three hours left on your ship. I mean, it's not really gibberish. You haven't said gibberish. You're right. You're right. I thought you were actually referring to something. No gibberish here, no gibberish there. Good old gay Ben. Can they make games again though? I want I want some more I want some more games. It's been a long time since we had a nice Valve game. I mean, I guess they are technically making a game. They're making Counter-Strike. <laughs> They're making Counter-Strike 2. And they did update Team Fortress 2 recently. I think it was more community maps though than actual maps. But they did release an update, so that's something. Team Fortress 2 is coming back, baby. Uh, no, it's not. It's it's still it's still a dying game. I do like me some proper Valve games. I mean, Counter Strike is a proper Valve game. Counter Strike 2 is, looks really good. I just it's not a game for me. I didn't like Counter Strike that much. Can I ask a stream question rather than a game question? Like, what did you use for streaming? OBS. OBS. Yes. Uh, but there are probably better things for most people. Like, there's Streamlabs OBS, which I don't know how common that is these days. It did have some problems for a while, but I haven't heard about it since. Uh, there's, like, uh, the Stream Elements with Stream, uh, which is with OBS. Stream Elements works pretty good as well. Uh, I, however, made my own system because I'm a crazy, foolish person that likes punishment of uh, making his own systems and then wondering why things break. And go, oh my god, now I have to fix things. And then, but the benefit of that is, if it breaks, I can fix it. Whereas if something on one of the other systems breaks, I have to wait for them to fix it. Which is my whole idea around doing this, but... <laughs> here I am, suffering. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I got an idea. Each time someone redeems the reward sound alert, the next raid will be silent. I think that could be a good idea as a separate reward. It'd have to be more pricey, though. I've been trying uh, with the idea of streaming. Stream Elements and OBS is what I'm playing with. Stream Elements, I think, is better. Uh, it's just a nice system. It's really good. And it works with OBS. What did you want to stream, Axel? What kind of games? If I did that, my progress would be lost and I would have to restart si the 16 hours. <laughs> oh my god. Start again from scratch. The pig stopped yet? No, there's still one going. Oh, two going. One down the bottom here, too. Good stuff. Good stuff. Research we done yet? Almost. Oh, uh, is the healing enhancer below the advent? No? Tomkins just made this hard for me, I guess. I'll forbid this or so I don't know. Uh, Rimworld Oxygen not included. Modded Minecraft. Always good. Always good. Good selection. I need to do another Minecraft stream again, I guess. It's been a while since I've done Minecraft. Oxygen not included I haven't got, but I don't know if I'd like it or not. Don't even know. I think I'd be a good way to get through games I haven't launched yet. The first three has to be Undertale, though, because it's my favorite game. Understandable. Understandable. Always a good time. Always good. Uh, but yeah, so... Dragon Cry... Uh, you're, the, you're the one that asked, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I specifically use OBS, because it's just the original thing. And it doesn't have anything extra besides the Twitch chat, or if you want to stream on a different platform, YouTube chat, it can have that as well. Uh, and some of the basic setup stuff 
Like I set it up the way I like it. I did all the overlays myself, but there's lots of downloadable overlays for OBS and stuff. Lots of plugins for OBS too. And then one that went paid and now no one uses. Uh, <laughs> so I used to use it. Now it's gone. It's gone from my system. I'm like, screw you guys making it paid for after being free for so long. That's the terrible way to do it. Such a terrible way to make something paid. If you're going to make something paid, don't take away free features. Add some new paid features. That's the best way to do it. Make a founder thing. You'd do that too? You'd make something that was free paid? I, I think the, the better way is to like leave the stuff that you had for free free and add some new features that are paid. Oh, you ditch it. Yeah, it's not worth it. It was good, but it wasn't that good. It wasn't good enough that I would pay for it. It was just such a minor thing that I had on it. It was just like, it wasn't even an important part of the stream. It just messed me up when they broke it. Uh, hello, Levencia. Hello, how are you doing today? Hope your weekend's been good. Did look at the stream labs and yeah, I tried to figure it out and I realized the features uh, were add on pay stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of free stuff that does the same things. Like, I think look into uh, stream elements, which goes with OBS. Uh, and it, it's pretty good. How's it going? Thanks for asking. Pretty fun. Excellent, excellent. How's it going? Pretty good. We finally got bio regeneration. It's taken all night. Uh, but we finally did it. <laughs> now we can actually do things like skin hardening. Uh, and we can put in... Yeah, so everyone else is cured? No? You're not. Okay. Are you almost cured? Almost. Uh, fire Steve. Uh, we'll wait till you're cured and then we'll put you in. Um, they're done. Okay. Hold open. Uh, forbid those. Uh, wait until I unrestrict everybody. Same with the animals. And then we open that door when someone goes near it, I guess. What year are you in for this playthrough? It's, uh, year nine. Nearly ten. How you going, rat? We weren't tending to you. You're fine, though. There we go. Yeah, it's been a long one. Been a long playthrough. There we go. Hello, I'm new to this, and I opened a bit of a mountain, and there was a robots inside. Oh, you opened the ancient danger. <laughs> You opened the Ancient Danger. It is a risk-reward kind of situation. Basically, it would have warned you if you got close to it. It would have said, it would have popped up with a red alert on the side of the screen saying, uh, Ancient Danger. Uh, it's a, uh, five meds, but, oh yes. Yeah, that, that is dangerous. <laughs> I didn't have one on my map, so I can't really tell you how it goes, but it's a room that kind of resembles like this like thing. I, I'll just quickly draw it. Let me just check this reward thing first. Uh, what's the mono sword like? Kind thoughts and psychic quiet. Weapon suppresses the will of psychic sensitivity by 15%. That's fine. Kind thoughts is pretty good. 92% armor penetration. Damn, that's a good sword. Psychic like harmonizer. Damn! Oh, I actually can't really use that. I have no one to use it with. Unless someone's like super happy. Maybe. Sorry, I'm getting my, I'm getting lost. I'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> uh, Commander of civilians must be rescued. The non-confederacy. I'm getting sidetracked. I need to see who these are. Uh, fierce tribe. I mean, they might be able to take it out themselves. They're just a standard fierce tribe. Uh, why not? I'll accept. Okay. It was what? So yeah, it's a, it's a special room that has a good loot in there most of the time. Uh, so it's like usually just shaped something like. Yeah, probably this is way too big, by the way. Uh, but it's it's kind of shaped like that, like a weird shape. Uh, it's got some weird shape. It's always perfectly built. Like, it won't be damaged, kind of like the steel walls are. It's always made of stone. Uh, and it always has 
uh, either bugs or mechanoids in it, or and a couple of crypto sleep caskets which contain people. The people can either be dead or enemies or neutral and they'll try to just leave. Uh, and then the, those people can sometimes really good for recruits. Is it usually an hourglass shape? Not always. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I just go with the hourglass shape because it's the one I usually see. Um, but yeah, you have to be pretty prepared to take it on, basically. Oh, another this. I need to deal with this too. Oh, cool. All right, I want to chuck in a zone. So yeah, you need to uh, basically be ready to take on that. It's, um, I hope you went okay with it. <laughs> You might not have, but uh, be ready for it because it is kind of dangerous and hard to deal with all the time. Uh, give yourself a little bit of time. Trap tunnel works well. Yeah, if you put a trap tunnel before you dig into it, that's also really ha handy. Uh, when I say trap tunnel, I'll show you in a second. Since you're new to the game, I guess you don't know all these things. Appreciate it. I was hoping to steal the urns. <laughs> no, I died. Unprepared. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, at least you learn. That's the whole thing about this game. It's about learning. Like, you will die. There's a lot of death in it. Uh, it takes a while to get get into it and understand it all, but yeah, you, like that's your first experience. That's probably one of the best ones to have as well. Like, sure, it sucks now, but it'd be one of the the greatest things. That is, it's amazing. It's it's great. Like, it's it's it was an awesome game. So uh, I'm about to have a cool experience myself. So we'll see that in a second. Uh, oh, did I turn this off? No, there we go. No, I did. It is a good game. The urns. You're after the urns. The urns are cool. You can't make them, but you can't use them as uh, to sell or uh, decoration your base, which is really cool. Uh, but yes, yeah, so there's a lot of death. Uh, I am playing currently on the hardest difficulty, mostly vanilla. It's got a couple of quality of life mods, but uh... okay, there we go. Hello, hello. Looks like they're going to be pretty close. They're probably going to come from this angle. All right, we'll give them a little bit of time and then we'll head out there. Where are you two going? Could, um, <laughs> this is not the place. Could those guys go in there? You're not gonna be very helpful in there. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. These guys are gonna do nothing. And the guys that are the ones we have to protect are the ones outside. Build the wall around them. I don't think I could be quick enough to do it. Hmm. Maybe I can do sandbags. But the trees, it's gonna take forever with the trees. And there's uh, stuff I can't build on here too. I put some sandbags here. I do have cloth, right? Oh, I got tons. All right, sweet. Uh, security sandbags. There. There we go. They can protect rat raid. Raid rat. this. I'm not gonna build it. <laughs> well, they can get out. They just walked in there. They came from this side and walked around and went in. All right. The raid will be coming soon. Elephants will help. Oh my god, nah, you know what? Um <laughs> Oh my god. 48 people! No, I, I don't know if I want to fight that to be honest. Um Yeah, I, I think I will just um I'm sorry guys. Uh yeah, that's uh that's that's not happening. I, I can't I've got no defense there. I can't. Uh <laughs> good luck! Have fun! Why aren't you going back? Go back.
You are very slow. Stay in the walls for now. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Sir, please, he's dead. Unfortunately, not me. Well, fortunately, not me, I should say. Uh, oh, there's uh, some, some downed people here. Female, 37. Uh, baseliner, good at plants, melee construction, undergrounded. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, who else is alive? You're alive. Female, 39. Ooh, they're all right. Careful shooter. That's fine. Good at plants. Good at, uh, has some crafting, mining skill, construction, melee. Uh, unwaveringly, unfortunately. Uh, so it looks like we'll probably have to go with them. Lost a lung and a leg. Maybe, maybe. Uh, two hours to live. Who's a doctor? Uh, that it would be Exercon. Who is very far away. Run, run, run. Let's see if we can get him. They have a jump pack as well. All right. Tend with medicine. Oh, you're attacking? Not anymore. <laughs> Female 26. Uh, cannibal Optimus Nimble. Very good stats. I might take them too. <laughs> All right. Four hours. Uh, who else was a doctor? Chris, 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 Chris. Uh, how long they got? Seven hours, perfect, that's fine. Wait, were they unwavering first? No, yeah, I'll take them too. Why not? Are you surviving? You got nine hours. All right, capture them. So wait. Uh, what is unwavering? It means you can't recruit them at all. They won't be recruited. You can't convert them to a different ideology. They are just them. So you can either, you can enslave them still or sell them as slavery, but uh, it's, it's a new thing in 1.4. So you can't literally get everybody. They got up. Go Chris, go. Go and kill them, I guess. Go down again, please. <laughs> oh my God, he's fast. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, Ted. There we go. <laughs> Got him. Got him! Nine hours, we'll capture them after the ten of them here. Okay, capture. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Unrestrict everybody. Didn't even have to hit him. Luckily, because we probably would have killed him if I hit him. Uh, Chris is very, very strong. They killed you. They cut off your head, remember? They cut off your head. Just dead. Just deaded. But these are two new people for me to use. All right. 19 hours. That's good. Prisoner. Convert. And convert. Done. Just a flesh wound? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, quest failed. I wonder why. Oh, I just... Oh, oh well, it's, it's there for another time, I guess. Uh, Let me go and, I guess, claim some of this stuff. I will leave the bodies out here. Why is there children's body? Like, clothes, not bodies. Clothes. Watch with the children's clothes. Uh, grab that. Ah, we'll move these bodies too, because they're going to be in the way. There we go. Done! Excellent. Well done, everybody. Well done. But yes, don't forget to check health. Great idea. Great idea. All right, so that was insane. Uh, I'm glad I didn't actually stay out there, because they probably would have killed us. We can relax now? For now. <laughs> Until the next raid. Uh, which could be any minute now. It could be another raid, but there's no no guarantee. No guarantee at all.
Loss of extreme. Uh, so what are they missing? They are missing like a lung and a leg. So they need a new lung. Did I take a lung from you? No. Well, guess what? We got a we got a lung. Harvest a lung. Nah, that should be fine. Fake raid. It's fake. Not real. They got an infection. On the torso, which is the worst kind of infection. Uh, probably tend them with actual medicine. There we go. We should also tend them with actual medicine now too. There we go. Sweet. Go, go, go! Nice tending. 70%. They're all good. Sweet. Done. Now we can relax. <laughs> we can relax a bit. A little bit. Uh, 7266. Very good. Very good. Uh, we want to do that again at some point. There we go. More conversions would be good. Uh, we got some healing enhancers to put in, but I still need to check if we're going to get more raids. More raids. Oh! Why have your shield act up oh, active? We converted them though. Great. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Couple of conversions and they're converted. Lazy replay. You, have you got the DLCs or are you just playing base game at the moment? Saturday stream? It's it's Sunday. <laughs> Chat, I'm sorry to say Chatter, but it, it is Sunday. It's it's definitely Sunday. <laughs> just play base game. That's all good. Uh, so what I just had then was from a royalty raid. So you won't probably get those type of raids until you get royalty at least. Uh, but most there's a lot of the um, a lot of the game is just there. Like there's a lot in the base game. Like especially when you're learning it, you don't need the DLCs at the start. I don't think. I when I first played, I played without the DLCs. I was gifted two of them, and it was overwhelming the amount of changes that just happened all at once. I'm like, oh geez, do I should I play like this? Should I be playing like this? I eventually learned it. And then they've added biotech. That was a whole new learning experience. And there's probably another one this year. Oh, a lung! Uh, you. How's your infection going? You're fine. Okay, uh, operations. Install... Lung. Install lung. Where's lung? Install lung. Right lung. They need a leg too. They need a leg. Make a leg. Make a leg. There we go. I'd say it's easy to learn without the DLC. I could agree with that. You got full DLC, Dragon Cry. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> it adds so much. Once you learn the base game, you're like, there needs to be more. DLC. Get them. <laughs> Having to micromanage quite a lot. There is a lot you can do to help that. Uh, there's a lot of things you can learn. So, um... What what are you struggling with the micromanaging part? Like, uh, what are you doing? I can I can help you out. Le teaching people the early like the early game and how to do the micromanaging is just it, it's it's pretty good. Like, it's there's a lot to it. There's a lot to learn, but it's pretty easy to pick up once you get there. Uh, hardest thing is making food to stop starvation. Okay, so I'm assuming are you doing the crash landed start where you start with three people? Because uh, that's probably one of the easiest ones to do. Uh, to get people to do what you really want, it's best to turn on manual priorities. Uh, this is can't make food. Cassandra? Yeah, Cassandra's probably one of the best ones to start with. Very, very simple. I can give you a, a hint on that as well. Raids will come every week-ish, like seven-ish days. You can see it's kind of repetitive on the amount of raids, because I'm playing Cassandra as well. Uh, like, I get... A set amount of raids every week so you know when the raids gonna come you can just look at the graph and go oh I should be getting a raid around here which is it's a, a little bit easier to know you're not always guaranteed you can see I've had as just a single one sometimes uh, but 
I, sh I could be getting another raid. I don't know 100%, but it's, it helps to know that kind of thing. Uh, secondly, set up your food uh, meals like this. So you can cook like simple meals times four. Uh, simple meals are the, obviously the easiest one to do at the start. Uh, and getting enough food. You should plant a lot of food. Not this much. This is a lot of food. Rice is one of the best ones to plant early. Uh, since it only has a... How how long does it take to grow? I think it's like three days. Yeah, three day grow period. And then you get five per, per growth. Uh, and as you can see, making meals like crazy. And I don't think they're stopping because... Um, <laughs> they've got no storage room. <laughs> I need to clear out some of the storage capacity. This is absolute insanity. Uh, but yeah, so that's another thing. As for restrictions, turn on manual priorities. Set people that you want to do the, the cooking and stuff to like the highest priority you can. So at the moment, I've got the main things like firefighting and patient on one. Uh, doctoring for the people who are doctors on one. And bed rest. I can turn back down to three now. That was because people were sick and I wanted them to stay in bed. Uh, but for cooking, you set them on like two or something. And that way they don't do bed rest, basic, handle, or anything before they do cooking. So cooking will be first, then hunting, then art, then cleaning, then research. Then it will be bed rest, basic, handling, uh, and hauling. It goes in that order. So it's really cool. Left to right and then the number order. One, two, three, four. It's pretty good. And then none, obviously, they don't do. Uh, and that part of it. So, but plant a lot of food. Uh, a good way to plant is to use this button. I'm going, I'm tutorial mode at the moment. I've got so much tutorial. <laughs> Had cooking, growing, and plant cut as one person. That's not too bad. Uh, if you can split it up, it's better. But I, at the start, you've only got three people. Uh, so it is, it's a struggle to get everyone doing the things you need to do. Uh, but growing zones are probably the best. If you, um, if you go into the fertility overlay, this one here, which is a little plant icon with a circle around it, you turn that on, you can see where it's best to grow. So dark green, better to grow in. Yellow, terrible. Obviously nothing, you can't grow. Uh, but rice can grow basically anywhere, but it's best to try and grow in there. So when you... Have a look at your tile. Look around. See if you can get some, like, these dark green spots. If you can get close to them, the better. But if you can't, like, if they're near the map's edge like this, this is terrible. These are not really usable for me. Uh, it's best just to plant a larger growing zone. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, what's with the campfire in the middle of the rice field? Rituals! Uh, unfortunately, I missed it. And I shouldn't be refueling it anymore. I just put it there. I don't know why I put it there specifically. There wasn't rice there originally. Uh... <laughs> So that's why that's there. <laughs> Nothing specifically. It's just there. Uh, it's uh, the rice field wasn't there. I just planted the rice into it. So that's my fault. I didn't have enough food. And now I have too much food. Uh, speaking of too much food. We're probably going to send some away. Uh, corn. Get rid of another thousand. And rice. We'll get rid of another thousand. Uh, do we have chem fuel? We'll get rid of a thousand chem fuel too. Why not? Why not? Uh, we have a lot of cloth. We'll get rid of a thousand cloth. And then we have the... Elephant leather and... That. Perfect. That's a full pod. Ready to send. But yes, uh, it's, it's because lack of food at the start is one of the most common problems. Honestly, I have it still. I have it all the time. And that's why I've planted so much food. I've got this giant field of corn, and then I've got this giant field of rice. And then I've got other things to plant as well. Like, it's just stuff everywhere. You're dying of sleep! Have you got sleeping sickness, penguin healer? Sleeping sickness? But yes, just, just get a big rice field. That's a good early game food supply. Uh, if you don't have rice or, or food, you can go and hunt. Uh, go into wildlife. Go for things like alpacas, wild boars. Uh, none of these. There's also deer and things depending on what starting tile you're in. Uh, they're one of the easiest. Things that don't attack you for attacking them is easier. Uh, and get your shooters to go and do them. They will do it automatically as long as you set it up to do it. Just check them off. Uh, that's a good way to get meat. And, 
use your butcher table. Set that up with a butcher creature forever. And they will just butcher the creatures when they kill them. Which is a good way to get meat. So that will give you enough food. Good food tutorial. Uh, and then uh, alternatively there's also berries. Which are okay. But they're not very good in the long run. Because of just how separated they all are. They're just all over the place. Harvest them. Some berries. That's just one of those. If you really need food. Go for that. Hunting is probably the best alternative for growing because it's quicker to get. It's very quick. Uh, have to bury for quick. Exactly, exactly. All right. <laughs> I, think, I think we've gone through food. But you will get it wrong. I get it wrong. I never plant enough food. And then uh, I have to plant so much. And then I have too much food. But I think too much food's better than not enough food. Uh, to make a wind power now, so soon I'll have that electricity. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Good start. Good start. Uh, do you start with batteries on the standards one? Because uh, uh, if you don't, research batteries too. Because wind power only... Yeah, well, research wind power then. Be out at zero, zero midnight. Oh, damn. Damn. You're st still stuck at work. So much time at work. Uh, so yeah, research batteries as well. Uh, get the battery research, which is over here. I uh, don't mind this. This is a lot more research because of the DLCs and stuff as well. Uh, get the battery research. You got batteries? Perfect. Because uh, wind power is not constant, so you'll need to um, get batteries to do it. Uh, also, there is... Uh, generators, I believe. I don't know when they research. I think they're just in base power. Yeah. Generators. Get a... Um, you can get... I don't use them enough. I use them this time, apparently. Where is it? There. Uh, wood fire or a chem... Uh, probably not chem fuel. If you've got boomalopes, maybe. But wood fire is really easy. Also, cover your batteries and wall them in a 2x2. Two two. At most, you won't need more than two batteries. I can tell you that right now. Uh, batteries, the more you have, the worse it is for yourself. One or two batteries is fine. I have one. Uh, the more you have, the, there's an event that makes all the batteries discharge. And the more batteries you have, the bigger the boom. Uh, so you don't want that. <laughs> With the standards that I'm doing, uh, am I doing a bad by rushing for geothermal? No, god no. Geothermal? Yeah, the zap event. Zzzt. You've had zzzt. more batteries the worse it gets. <laughs> but fun, but kaboom fun. Not for your colony. Uh, these are probably one of the best... Uh, power generations. It's just a constant 3,600 watts of power. I have currently two of them. Three of them. I have three of them and I don't need anything else. That's all I've got. So once you can, they're one of the bigger researchers at 3,200. 6,000 because I'm doing tribal. It's harder to one tribal. Uh, 3,200 to get that one. It's very good to get. Once you can, get it. I saw someone who was using ship reactors for energy production. Do not recommend. I will definitely not do that. <laughs> I've actually thought about it. I'm like, that could be interesting. But you have to defend it for 15 days when it starts up. So um, I don't know if it's worth it that much. I've planted hay. Do the animals eat that automatically? If, they're in, if it's a pen animal, yeah. Uh, if not... Hey, you'll harvest, put it on a shelf or something in the animal pen, and they'll eat it. Uh, but yes, they'll just eat the stuff. It's good. It's fine. Uh, but alternatively, if it's just grass, because uh, you can see my animals here, they're just eating grass. Uh, at the moment, they have enough nutrition growth from the pen marker. You can see uh, they're consuming 13.82, and it grows 15.72. So they will eat grass. Uh, but you don't need to fully do hay or anything. But if you need the extra, it's still worth it. They produce power without uh, being started. How much, though? How much power do they produce? Uh, I just noticed the current base is a Stormtrooper helmet facing east. <sighs> Since I can't remember what a Stormtrooper helmet looks like. I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's like the game is full of information too. So, also auto cut. 
there's there's a bunch there's a bunch of stuff. There's so much stuff. Like there's so many things I find out. Fair enough. I can't I, I just can't see it, Axel. I'm sorry. It probably is there. I just can't picture it in my head. Uh, a thousand per reactor. Okay, so it's okay-ish amount of power. But it's still not really worth it, is it? A thousand watts. You get like 3,600 just from a geothermal. It's fun for a little thing though. Like, building everything off that. Healer mech serum. I still have a resurrector mech serum this run. No resurrectors. I had a few healers. Ice sheet map was it? Oh, no geothermals. It was able to get that far in though? Damn. That's insane. Boomalope 2 has given birth. Look at tiny Boomalope. Tiny. Baby Boomalope. Yeah, I still don't know if you're in good enough condition to actually resurrect you though. That's that's a problem. That's a problem. Uh, how are these going? Still alive. That's good. That's good. In our psychic tea. Uh, are we doing another one of these? We haven't done one yet. I probably should. But don't remember who for. Actually, I was trying to get the uh, social. Can I take your social yet? No, 2.6 days. All right. Your pawns die of old age. No, technically they don't. But they get old enough that they start getting so many diseases that could kill them. Uh, that is how they actually die. It's a weird way. Uh, but you can uh, mitigate a lot of it. I'm trying to think of the vanilla ways. Uh, heal a mech serum, I think is a vanilla one. Without the DLCs. Uh, that can cure a lot of bad things. There's also mech... Uh, well, not mech. Uh, bionic implants to uh, clear out other things. So you can make them live for a long time. A very long time. And plus, when I'm already only at 10 years in, I've been playing for this run specifically for two days IRL time. Uh, it, you don't really get to the case where someone gets that old. Uh, and plus, yeah, there's, there's things to keep them alive anyway. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if you're in a very good condition, Axel. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kept you in the case that maybe you were fine, but... I, I don't think you're going to be. I think you're just going to be rotted in that thing because we had cooling problems for a while. Uh, it's fine now, but I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We will see if I get a, heal a resurrector. Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> That's some good water. Uh, Timey boobled up for big explosion. True. How you doing, Reno? How you doing? I was ready to go. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. No, I was scrolled down. Almost ready to go. Almost ready. So, uh, I, I can go over these people. So, we've got, like, bionic arms, architect leg, bionic leg. That's a DLC item. Architect eye. They're all, they're vanilla ones. Um, you can replace body parts pretty easily. Like, once you get to that stage, you can just replace them. Architect, you have to buy. Uh, but the bionics, you can make yourself. I guess that point. Erkly! How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I was playing Odd Realm, and they were having a cardiac arrest, so I converted uh, to try room. <laughs> uh, cardiac arrest? We, we have, we have, um, we have cardiac arrest in Rimworld, too. Uh, but you can save them. You can save them. Good enough tending, you can fix up their heart. You can give them a bionic heart. They can't have a cardiac arrest if they've got a bionic heart. Uh, do a fire, played some F1 manager while watching. Oh, F1 manager. Interesting. Interesting. What do you manage? What do you have to manage? The drivers? Also, we'll build those. I want them built now. How are we doing on you? Almost converted, almost converted. Have we put a lung into you? Just still missing a leg and a bike scar. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, transport pod's ready to go. Let's launch her over to you guys. 24 points will give us allied. Nice. Another ally. Allied. 
Allied. I have two allies. Look at me go. I'm actually doing it. It took me nine years, but I have some allies. Nine years that I have some allies. I have enough resources that I can just give them stuff. Uh, I don't think we're getting another raid, so I might as well install some stuff. Also, oh, you've already turned them off. Okay, uh, so. Let me go through. You've got a healing enhancer, healing enhancer, healing enhancer, healing enhancer. You could do with a healing enhancer and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, give you good meds, operation, install, healing enhancer. We can do two people. Do you need a healing enhancer? You do need a healing enhancer. Install a healing enhancer. There you go. Wait. That friend. Friend. The friend. Friend. Friend are best. Good friend. Good friend. I've never seen the message like that before. I've never seen colors in these ones. They usually pop up down here. That was a weird one. I'm confused. But anyway, we stopped malaria. That was great. Good stuff, this. Good stuff. I'm gonna need some more Nutramine to make more. All right. Sweet. Sweet, we're in advanced gameplay at the moment. Advanced. Too advanced. Who knows what's going on anymore? Uh, also, if you you want yours uh, la lazy replay, if you want yours to look like this, there's a, a button down here. I don't know if you've got it. Like people ask me about it sometimes. Like, how do you get what mod's this? It's not a mod. It's in the, it's in the game. It's a button down here. Categorizes a bit nicer, so you can actually see it and go through. Like, what's in here? We got 338 components and 10 advanced components. Pretty good. Pretty good. And some explosive shells. We're blowing things up. Uh, do you use Penox? Uh, early when pawns get malaria, or do you have to predict it? I, they just always take it. I have them set to automatically take it. So I don't think you can predict it. I don't think there's a way, because it's just random. Uh, so... The drug policy, which is T, uh, it takes it every five days. I've set up to just take it every five, and then Psychite T is every two, because I want them to take Psychite T. Uh, also speaking of, J. Alistair was not set to do it. What are your thoughts about vampires and RimWorld? It's in the game. I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> oh, Cravo! If something's in the game, it's pretty cool. Uh, the the vampire people, the um, sanguifages are pretty awesome. I, I did a run of them once. It's on YouTube. Self promo. Go check out my YouTube channel. I think that was one of the earliest ones where I did losing is fun as well. I'm not actually 100% sure if I did losing is fun on that one. Check. Let me check. Uh, let me see. It was it was right when the uh, the DLC first came out too. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, what was that alert? Fire. Ah, oh, lightning strike. All right. Playlists. Sanguifage. Sanguifage. Yes, I think it was one of my first uh, losing is fun runs. I think the first one I did was the Mechanida, and the second one was the losing uh, was the Sanguifage. Yeah. I already saw people say it was pretty boring. I actually enjoyed it. I mean, there were really powerful people, and I just I think I got like five or six Sanguifages at one point. Like, not, that's not a huge amount, but it really helped. And plus, I didn't want to maintain that many people with freaking death rest all the time. You can build your own vampire with uh, the right gene packs and make them even more powerful. There's, they're just a specific gene pack. Yeah, you can buy them. I've, it's, it's come up, a couple of them have come up before. Uh, we've got Deathless. We're using that one right now. Uh, let's see. We're not using all of them, but we've got Deathless. They won't die. And they don't need to, uh, Death rest or anything. It's great. Well, good trade ship. Conversion. Who was that? You recruit. There we go. Uh, it's by creativity. Nice. Uh, trade. Exercon. Call the trader. There we go. Uh, I want to start a new colony and think about 
Sangle Phage. Let me give it a go. Might as well learn, like, see if you like it yourself, right? Have one point do all the work. All must be kept indoors. No, I can't do that. <laughs> There's so much work to do. I can't have one person do everything. I'm sorry, Penguinilla. I'm sorry. I don't think I, it's not possible. It's just not possible. I'm struggling with some of the work as it is. I don't think I could have one person do everything. Uh, we will sell a bunch of stuff. Do they want my psychite tea? Because we have 900 of it. There we go. Take the smoke leaf, take the ambrosia. Uh... And we will buy their components and advanced components. Ah, uh, that's another tip. Always buy components. Always. Don't worry about the advanced ones so much until you need them. But components, definitely a must. You need so many. And I have 300. Because I buy them every time. Because they're very much needed. I probably would have ran out if I didn't, I didn't keep buying components, you know? Would have ran out. But here I am. Not out of components yet. Not yet. There's a leg! Uh, healing enhancer, perfect. Sell the beer. What can we buy? Oh, uh, we have so- I'm probably not gonna be able to sell all this stuff. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, fire foam. Nah, that's worn, 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 worn. Kids' clothes, get rid of that, get rid of those. That's that. It's fine, that's fine. Oh, what can I buy? What can I buy? Steel? <laughs> I just use a scanner for components. That's also a good way. Uh, the long range scanner is also a really good way to get components too. But that's one of those, uh, one of those, like, mid-game things, but at the start, you should always buy them. Always buy them. Uh, ABC, exactly. Doggies, yes. That's the challenge part, but it's not a challenge, it's just a nothing would happen kind of thing. Uh, how do you make trades in that machine when I... Try it only gives me the option to ask for caravan or combat. I need to be allied with that faction. Yes, uh, it's just a random event. It'll pop up saying a trade ship's passing by. Uh, then you can go up to the thing and trade. It doesn't always happen. You just have to wait till it comes in. Oh, people have already answered. Is my floor made of jade? No, green carpet. Uh, I'll show you in a sec. I'm pretty sure you could do green carpet in, in base game. Pretty sure you can. Puppies! You know what? Why not? I'll buy some puppies. I'll buy all their puppies. Uh, we will buy their chocolate, because why not? Uh, we will buy... No meat. Nutramine. I still have too much money. Uh... <laughs> what else can I buy? Uh, we got this jade. No, they don't have it for sale. They have steel, though. I don't need steel, but... I mean, I could buy it. I could buy... I'm gonna buy some steel. What's a plasteel? You know what? I'll buy some plasteel. 10 plasteel brings the price right back down. 2165 out of 2171. Alright, sweet. Puppies! Animals! Alright, we need to train these puppies. Train them up to be... Rescue and haul. And they could stay in... The walls for now. While I train them up. Ah. Uh, also this one... I need to... Sterilize so they don't end up breeding. Uh, and then furniture. We're gonna need two more beds, I just realized too. Uh where do I put them? <laughs> I have I have to put two more beds in. I could probably just put them here. You know what? Like that. There we go. Two more beds. 
Sweet. If I move this, I could fit two more beds here too. Install that in that corner, like that. There. Uh. Oh, it's, it's okay. Yeah, you probably haven't researched. It's not by default. Uh, give me a second. Research. It is all the way at the start back here. Uh, carpet making. It'll be there. Trading. Trading's vanilla. Trading's vanilla. It's in the base game. Uh. Actually, I don't think there's anything in the DLCs that's different from base game and vanilla. But yeah, carpet's just there. Right at the start. Uh, Devil Strand's also really good to get. Get that when you can. Uh, it's good for... That's what we're wearing at the moment. That's all Devil Strand clothing. Uh, and then different helmets. Uh, very good to have. Very good. Uh, when I get the message in the top left corner, I need to interact with the machine. Yeah, so when it happens, do it within like, I think it's 12 hours or something. And you'll be able to trade with them. Uh, uh, priority growth. Use a 4x4 four four square of your best soil to grow the longest growing crop. Which one is the longest growing? I might do that. Actually, would a tr the tree would be the longest growing, but I don't know if they grow faster in a grow zone. Or not. I think they do. I haven't researched trees. Unless I get them by default. Give me a second. Research. Sixteen days. I mean there's no point in me growing a regular tree. Uh what else is there? I think corn's the longest, but I'm already growing that in a grow zone. Twenty-two days. No, Devil Strand. Devil Strand would be the longest. I could do that, but uh, it would be very quick. Uh, where, where's the grow zone? A grow zone here. How big was it? Four by four. All right, I'll do that. Of Devil Strand. There we go. Done. Random Devil Strand out in the field. <laughs> do it. Rux doing it. Look at him go. The random Devil Strand plot. <laughs> It'll grow one day. It'll grow. Oh wait, you said training isn't vanilla. Training as an animal training? That's vanilla, yeah. Sorry, I thought that said trading. Uh, does missing an eye affect a melee person or only shooting? I think it adds about the start, so I don't know if it should answer right away. I might give it a couple seconds, but I'll answer you definitely. Uh, wait, I might be able to fit it in. There's a long, ex short explanation. Yes, it affects melee. Uh, long explana explanation, I'll wait until after the ad goes. <laughs> Eyes affect melee. It's the same with shooting. Expanded your home zone. Always uh, make that mistake. It wouldn't have. You know why? Yeah. See? No home zone. Actually, you can't see. Ad started. <laughs> Unless you can. Maybe you don't get it. Mod? Vanilla. I turn off auto home zones. Uh, I'm assuming you're not seeing an ad, so I can probably keep going. Uh, there is a button right here. Uh, toggle automatically expanding the home zone around new constructions. I turn it off. And then I also turn on toggle automatic rebuild of destroyed structures in the home zone. Uh, that way I can just set where I want the home zones. Speaking of, I probably should put a small home zone around it too. That way we put it out. But that's why my home zone looks like this. Very specific, well mostly, except for the farms, because I just dumped a home zone over the top of them. But that specifically, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Very specific home zone. <laughs> uh, did we convert that other person? No, not yet.
All right, sweet. Sweet. Uh, is that over? That is over. Okay, back to the melee one. Uh, so if we go into this person, we go into their info and we go to melee DPS, I think. Nope. Uh, no, da damage per second. Okay, yeah, it is in that. So you go into here, you can see health, manipulation, and sight. So sight is affected. They don't have an increase or anything. Uh, so it's currently at zero, but if I gave them bionic eyes, they would be even better at hitting uh, with their hits. So hitting with their hits. Uh, but yes, sight is important for melee. Give them good eyesight. <laughs> I should just leave a bit of Devil Strand home zoneless. For the challenge, there you go, half of it. <laughs> Means I have to monitor it. Some raiders are gonna set that on fire, I swear. Raiders will be like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna burn this. I wanna burn that." But you're welcome, Indie Zooey. But yes, there's a lot of things that affect everything. I'm pretty sure sight affects research speed as well. Give me a sec. If you go into this, you can find out. So research speed. Health, sight, manipulation, and sight. Yeah. So uh, the manipulation is reduced. They're worse at research at the moment. Uh, but it is still pretty good at 113%. Uh, but yes. What's your manipulation like? Shoulder. All right, sweet. That is something you can always look up. Any any of the works things you need to do, just go into their info, press the uh, type in what you want to look up, like research speed or medical tend quality or whatever. I just type in medical, and stuff comes up. So just search for that way. It's a good way to find out in the game as well. But yeah, sight is, seems to be for everything basically, uh, which is why I probably should replace a lot of people's eyes really. Because it's just effective. Will the AI not steal it? AI don't steal crops. They will burn crops. If it's on the ground like as an item, they will steal it. But it's I don't think they do it with the crops as much because it's not worth as much, really. Not on its own. It ain't worth much on its own. Alternatively for that other the challenge you originally put, we could have just had one person do all jobs while everyone else still works. I could have done that instead, actually. I would set every, the one person's priority to do everything. And that way they basically do nothing. Because <laughs> that would just be working the whole time. That includes doctor. That includes cooking. That includes constructing. Like, I just have to set a person to do everything. To do everything. One call the ship launch. I actually try to get as many as I can. Like, I will probably try and get everybody on the ship, but I don't know if I will. We will see. It depends how much resources I have at the end. Alright. How are we doing? Recruiting is doing okay. We lost Inspired Recruitment too. We had someone with Inspired, but I guess we lost it. Run out of time. Uh, also... Uh, what are you doing at the moment? I'm gonna get deep drill. You know what? Enter this for bio regeneration. 25 days. <laughs> I probably should put this in a separate room. Uh, can we put? We can. Hmm. No, I won't. I can't be bothered. 25 days without fire, Steve. All right. Farewell. Good luck to you. Good luck. And they're gone for 25 days. I'll never see them again. Let's hope they don't get killed or something while in there. That's a long time. 25 days. 25 days. Alright. 
Sweet, there should be no more puppies. That should be fine. Uh, the dogs could do with some animal beds. We'll have them sleep in here. Uh, let's build in... We have enough Devil Strand or we use it all? 600. How much is it for these? Let's build some Devil Strand ones. There we go. Excellent, nice. Excellent, nice. Good. That's fine. Good, that's fine. All right. If you tune it with them with a pleasure type, it makes them slightly faster next time. Yeah, I probably should have done that, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Yeah, because it has to attune to them. It has to biocode to them, and which makes the next one faster. But I wonder if it would have been as effective. Like, I don't know how much it reduces it by. Uh, where are my huskies? So, husky one. Husky two. What are you? Husky four? Well, this one's going to be husky three. Done. There they go. Oh, <laughs> Look at them. They get their own special beds. Elephants oh, sleep outside. Out uh, elephants are out outdoor thingies. They don't come inside. All right. Wait, and you are a person that does something. I'm yawning a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, Eclipse. Great. Good times. Good times. Uh, we need to redo this. I need to turn everyone off construction. Oh, we got skin hardening. Oh, we. Uh, let's get compact weaponry. Uh, and we'll turn off. Construction for now. So we can build this. When I say build, I mean not build it. Just put the wood in it. Which is what I want done so I can set up the heat box. This poor guy or girl. They've been here for years. I don't even need them anymore. Maybe I should release them. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. Hey, Ruck, how you doing? How you doing? What's, what's going on, Ruck? How's your day been? How's your weekend been? Hope you're gonna have a good weekend. We are having a great time here. Playing some RimWorld. Uh, living. Living our best lives. Keeping everyone alive somehow. Getting more people. We've got two more people coming in. It'll be a little while before they come in, but uh, they'll be here eventually. How's this room? Somewhat impressive. I wonder what we could do to make it better. Give it another chair. Um, I guess mine out the cliff walls and put real walls in. Maybe. We guys been good. Went out for some nice steak last night. Ooh, nice. And Mothworth, hello. How you doing? And Hydrith, hello. Reward alert. Me too. Me too. Honestly, they just don't get me anymore. Oh, we did this. Uh, cancel. The bed's done. That is ready to go. And we will turn back on uh, construction. Looks good. Inked pup? Why did... Oh, I'll turn them off. Alright, sweet. Uh, who else? Zircon, are you ready to go back into this thingy? Yes. How's your... You need food, though. And sleep. Conversion, that was the other one. That was you? Yep, recruit. Done. So, wait. Uh, just checking your wakefulness, I promise. Always good. <laughs> I'm always awake. I'm ready to go. We need more healing enhancers put in. I forgot about that. Uh, you don't have one. Yes, you do. You do too. Uh, what about you? You're missing a healing enhancer. How about I give you a healing enhancer? Install... Healing enhancer. 
Who's next? You got a healing enhancer already. How about you? You don't have one. Burr, yes! 15 months? Thank you for the 15 months, Burris. How you doing? How you doing? Healing enhancer. There we go. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Take a sounds for the, that and the... Ooh. Thank you so much for the for the resub. How's your weekend been, Burrius? How's your weekend? Thank you for the resub. Hope you're well. That's that protections. Yeah, we got full. Uh, we've got full full armor, full head armor at least. Uh, and we're putting healing enhancers in everybody. And most people are deathless now. There's a couple that don't have it. I don't know what to do about this one, because I made them a gene pack, but it won't work because parts of it cancel the other parts out, so it would make them. Yeah, look, it just it's. Oh, I can't show it, but um. Yeah, I won't show up because they're already in it. They're in the Biosculptor at the moment. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't work because of their freaking stupid impid gene. And I can't get rid of the impid, so I don't think I can actually give them anything. At most, I think I could probably give them Deathless. And that's about it. And maybe the look. <laughs> but that's all I can really do to them. So I might just do that. I can't make them good. So I don't know what to do with this gene pack. It's basically a waste of a gene pack. Unless I have someone that can do similar things. Uh, like a melee, I guess. Because it's for melee specifically. One of these new people are melee. That one is. Good at plants. I don't think, uh, I think I took away plants. <laughs> uh, inspect. Yeah, god damn. That's a pain. That is a pain. I don't know what to do with that one. It'd be a waste of the uh, archive capsule. Yeah, it is. Uh, look, you are right here, it seems. Yeah, I think I think we're going pretty well. Oh, did you put it? Oh, God. I hate when they do that. They do the operation when they're in bed. Terrible. Serious inspiration. Conversion. Conversion should go to the person he converted, not the person that did the conversion. What about you? You're a melee too, technically. And you don't have to do plants. You have minor passion in plants. You could do construction and animals. Unless I took away animals too. I did. <laughs> oh god. Uh, they could not do plants or animals. I mean, yeah, no plants or animals. Melee construction and artistic. No, it's just not worth it. It's be better off. Like, I need some other. I need some traits that would give me more metabolism. Cleaner, I guess. I don't need more people in those roles, I guess. Uh, passion for animals, cannibal. What kind of uh, food animals are they raising anyway? Yeah, honestly, I don't need more. I've already got. Several people in grow and handling I've got like I've got two at the moment And I could have a third and a fourth. They're just not set to do it So I technically don't need it. And they could just be cleaning or hauling or something because it needs to be done. So I That's probably a good idea. Good idea Burris. Good idea. Unfortunately, I don't have the passion thing for melee I just have the strength Is there a passion for melee? Because um no bots. I was I was thinking about it, but I never ended up doing it. So at the moment, I just don't see it being worth it. I could still get it for the cleaner bots and hauler bots, but I don't really need them. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right. So you got the healing enhancer now. You got a healing. You got a healing. You've already got one. Uh, you could do with one, and you could do with one. Do I make extras? I, I feel like I've got extras. Healing, 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 healing. One healing, two. There should be th no. There's three. Okay. Yeah. No. That's fine. Yeah. Three healing enhancers. I'd have to make more for these people. Also, we now have uh. Love Enhancer! No, uh... Stone skin, armor skin, and tough skin. I never know the difference. 
Tough skin, I think is what I'm after. No, that's that's a reducing beauty. Uh, armor skin? Reducing... No, that's the item beauty. Never mind. Uh, oops. Oops, 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 oops. Stone skin, I believe, is ugly. Yeah, reduces the visual beauty. Uh, armor skin... Reduces visual beauty. And... I keep pressing the wrong thing. And tough skin... Doesn't reduce visual beauty, but it doesn't give as much armor. I don't really need beauty, but that ends up with the punishment of people freaking insulting each other because they look ugly. Hmm. Hmm. Problems, problems. I think I'll just go with the tough skin. Or maybe I should go with armor. It's only a negative one. I think it might be fine with negative one. Go armor skin, maybe. Armor skin? Uh, what are the noses? How much do the noses give back? Or the aesthetic shaper, I should say. A positive one. And the nose gives a positive one. Yeah, so armor skin. If I give everyone armor skin and then everyone an aesthetic nose, it would cancel each other out. So I think the aesthetic nose is the cheaper one to make. 2 and 10 versus 15 and 3, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the speed reduction for stone skin? We're going through a lot of info here. Uh, 85, it's at 85% movement. And armor skin is 90%. So I think armor skin is probably the one we go for. We need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 14. 14 armor skin. <laughs> That's a, that is a lot of advanced components. Um, we'll make seven for now. And we'll do the rest later. There we go. Do melee first? Probably. We'll do seven. I feel like we're missing something. Are we out of gold? We are out of gold. We're out of gold. We need to buy some gold. We're not making advanced components at the moment, so we won't be able to get that done anyway. And deep drilling has only found one thing. We've only found Plasteel. And I think we have enough for now, so we might forbid these. <laughs> we have so much. We have so much Plasteel and Steel. Uh, we went from having really few of everything to having too much of everything. We have so much stuff. We're too rich. We are too rich. My goodness. Alright. Exercon and Jay Alistair could get the, uh, the healing things installed now, though. Because we have, like, some more of these. We'll do that. We're getting everything done. Oh, by the way, Burris, we also have the research for cataphract armor. Uh, we could do the research, I should say. Uh, <laughs> I got two cataphract blueprints from one trader. I'm like, damn. That was expensive, but I got them. So, I've almost got everything now. No brain wiring, because I don't think I'll use it. A poison synthesis could be good. Compact weaponry I'm researching currently. Uh... We're almost at the end. We're almost done. We are almost complete. This run has uh, gone really well. Besides the eight or nine deaths. Yeah, I'm doing ship launch. I don't know where I'm building it yet. Now, I, I think I'll do an ending. I, I like doing the endings because it, it could either end up killing the colony or I could end up being really cool and a victory. Uh, but it's always stressful for me. <laughs> I'm just almost at the 10th year. Which is, which is great. Uh, cargo pods. Heavy fur. Alright. And skulls. Skulls were from the last one. Dropped in the same location. 
But yeah, I always try to do an ending. I always like trying to do an ending. Uh, do you still have your... Weiro? Weiro? Weiro. Elaborate. I don't know what that is. Elaborate. What is a Weiro? Uh, cockatiel. My cockatiel? Yeah. I still got a cockatiel. How do you know I have a cockatiel? Have you seen some other stuff where I've st talked about it before? Good old cockatiel. He's, uh, he's been pretty good. I didn't get to play with him much yesterday or today, though. I was too busy. My parents played with him instead. Uh, I'll have to try and get him in early. It's on Twitter. Uh, I have a cockatiel who is 13. I posted that on Twitter? <laughs> uh, I think, I think mine's around the same age. He's getting really old now. I don't know how old he is. Because we bought him from someone who was selling him because, um... They couldn't keep him anymore. That was like, I think it may be one or two at that point. It was, it was pretty young. Uh, oh wait, no, I posted him in a freaking. You went to Massa because Elon Musk? Yeah. <laughs> I, it's getting worse. Twitter's getting so much worse. I haven't really been using Mastodon, but I do have one there and I'd rather use that than Twitter. I wasn't really using Twitter that much either though. I remember, I remember because I did a sponsored thing and I posted the bird with the sponsor. Uh, but yeah, he's still going good. Blight and cotton. Can someone remove the blight, please, before it spreads into my corn? Spoutable. Spoutable. Spout. Spoutable. It's loading. I'm having a look. It's white! Website uses cookies. Let me in! Oh, you're just gonna give me a boring page? What's spoutable? Who made it? Where's it come from? Looks nice though. Looks nice. The internet is for corn. Exactly, you know it. Okay, well, they're, not, they're gonna do this right, so. Just set everyone to plant cut, otherwise, it just won't happen. There we go. Much better. Little tip for everybody, if you want your blight gone, set everyone to plant cut. Set all your planters to plant cut. It'll just go. It's gone now. And now they're replanting. Does Mr. Zah have a backup plan if Mark Zuckerberg buys Discord? <laughs> Zuckerberg, I don't think is as bad as Musk, but... There are alternatives, maybe not as good as Discord, and not as publicly accessible as Discord, but there's very similar alternatives that I know of. Asbattle was created by a former Twitter engineer and its community is supported, not owned by a corporation. You know what? Maybe I'll go on Spoutable, as long as they're not tracking and stealing all that info that other ones seem to do, like, like a certain threads. Ugh. No one uses threads anymore, turns out. No, I'm, I'm lying by the way, but uh, you know what I mean. It had this huge spike because they were like, oh, if everyone's making an account, I'll make an account. But then no one wanted to use it, so no one uses it. Microsoft wanted to buy Discord. There was so much backlash the idea that they declined the sale. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, I, I honestly don't care too much about Microsoft. Like, even when Microsoft bought Minecraft, I really didn't care that much. But... I don't even know. What what are they doing with our data on Discord? You gotta wonder. Mind you, they got a lot more um, pay stuff now. So, probably not that much. At least they're not selling it, I hope. I mean, he also changed a company's name. Went from Facebook to Meta. Yeah, but it's his company's name. And he just didn't want everything to be referred to as Facebook. And I can, I kind of understand it. It didn't need to change it. And I don't know why he went with Meta. Ugh. Terrible name, but it wasn't changing the um, the social platform to be called Meta. It's like it's still called Facebook. He's wanted the company to not be referred to as Facebook because it does more than just Facebook, which I get. I understand that. Still a terrible name though. Uh, Discord. I don't think they would ever sell Discord unless they get to a point where it's just not feasible for them to continue. I guess. Google becoming Alphabet. 
Oh, I did I forgot they'd renamed. Honestly, I forgot that the main company renamed to Alphabet. Weird that they called themselves Alphabet though. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. I understand it. Uh, but uh, what is it? Spoutable. Spoutable sounds interesting. I might look more into it. It's unfortunately that their landing page just has no info on it though. You also burned a lot of money on his metaverse. Oh yeah. That was a waste of money. <laughs> the idea behind it, I get it, but then it turned out to be so terrible that like, I remember seeing it like, oh God, what has he done? It looks awful and no one uses it. No one uses it. Uh, what they wanted, Ready Player One, what they got. Yeah, nothing. It looks so dull as well. Like, I saw screenshots of it, it just looks dull. Like, there's no color. It looks bland. It looks like it's... I don't know, I can't really explain it. I don't know how to describe the words to explain how dull it looked. It just looked like no one put any thought into the design, basically. Uh, compact weaponry research is complete. Let's move on to Cataphract. And we'll grab that Cataphract armor. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, we need to do another gene pack for somebody. Uh, uh, were you ready to go back into... Kinda. If you... Have a fine meal. I should be able to put you in. And we'll try again. We'll try again to get the social gene, because I need it. Wasn't he also putting a lot of money into F NFTs? I actually don't know about that. The NFTs were stupid in general. Uh, do you ever use the compact weaponry? I might. I'll put it on the melee pawns. Uh, because it just extra additional damage types. Uh, especially the po- oh, well you don't have the poison ones, but what's, what's compact weaponry? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, elbow blade, hand tail, and knee spike. Decent armor pen penetration and damage. Uh, but the poison synthesis is the ones I'm actually after. I just don't have the research for that yet. Uh, because it does a bunch of other damage, which is really cool. And I'll probably put them in. I always thought that it randomly chose the one of the weapon types attack each round rather than every time uh, be their equipped weapon. I think that's what it does. It, it picks one of the random damage types to use. Uh, I can't use my silver for rib connect. Wait, do I still have that active? Did I not turn that off? Do I still have rib connect on? <laughs> Actually, I don't remember if I turned that off or not. That'd be funny if I left it on the whole time. It's been so long since I did rip connect. Uh, I forgot how to access that part of this system. Ah, extensions. Extensions. No, none of them are active. Thank goodness. I didn't leave it on. I didn't leave it on. Aurora is ending. Very sad. Very sad. Alright. Mm, the psychotic addiction is getting there. Oh my silver. I mean... <laughs> it goes away every new run anyway. It resets every run. I want to buy the allows me chat names to be used uh, for the Raider names. For some Raiders attacking your uh, chat. I think that'd be cool. There are similar ones, like there's some in-game ones you can use. Uh, well, some other mods that you can use for just regular animals and characters and stuff, but I don't activate it since um, I do a different system. Like, I use the rule light to define the player names. But I think it'd be cool to have the raiders come in with random Twitch chat names. 
I think it'd be cool. Someone could make that. I could make that if I really did enough time and effort into it. All right, they're almost done. Yeah, you're gonna have a breakdown. What we get? Not nothing we wanted. Okay. Dad. Jay Alistair, you're up next. You're ready to go. Wait. That was Sack 8T. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Next one. Let's see. We do have another slot available still. Cool. Sweet. I don't think this text is working very well. It looks a bit weird. <laughs> it's looking a bit strange. All right, that mood should be gone back up. That should be all right. It should be fine. We need that, um, we need the social gene. No, a solar flare. My life ruined. It's all over. <sighs> Some water. Gene banks need power. Yeah, I know they need power. Can't really give him power, there's a solar flare. Alright. Oh, I should forbid that too. Don't really want anyone going in there. How are we doing on these uh, new recruits, eh? They have a husband! And a friend! And a lot of rivals, mostly us. Uh, 7.9, 11.8. All right, almost recruited them. Almost. So wait, come on, power back on, please. Power on, please. I need power. It needs to be on. Power on. We also need some more melee weapons for these uh, new people. Should we make some swords as well as uh, maces? We should have a mix, maybe. Wrong, wrong table. Uh, we got plasteel, so we can probably make some plasteel uh, swords. Have I not researched swords? <laughs> I, have, I haven't researched swords? Never mind. Never mind. Melee, melee, yeah, they're both melee. All right. Oh wait, solar flare's ending, thank goodness. Oh, I probably should've got them out. I might cancel this, because um, the power cut out just made them take so long, and they're gonna, get, they're gonna starve in there. Uh, it still cuts down on the genes regrowing thing, so. Oh well. Oh uh, well, as long as they're gonna mood break, it should be fine. Should be fine. We'll be fine, chat. We'll be fine. All your silver's gone, penguin. All your silver's gone. Never to be seen again. You get channel points though. How's everyone's channel points doing these days? Mine are infinite. A siege! A siege! Over here. This will be interesting. This should be very interesting. I have 640, I'm poor! Oh no! Save for a challenge. I need to change that. I Challenge doesn't seem to work for my channel. That's a lot of people. 43 humans. All right, uh, everyone stay in the walls. Animals also in the walls. And there. 7k, baby! Feeling wealthy! Hell yeah. I need to make challenge that it's a specific types of challenge instead. Or maybe a challenge wheel. That automatically rolls a challenge. And then we can suggest challenges, which would be easier. Uh, alright. Ruck. 
Mr. Urkin. Man, these steel mortars. We're gonna go bomb these guys. Where are they going? We don't actually shoot. They shot. God damn it. Okay. All right, done. <laughs> uh, clear priorities work. I need someone to throw a molt of. Here we got. Who's awake? Mr. Urkin. Equip that Molotov. You're taking a while. All right, time to burn him. Elephant, you fools. He's just breaking a random wall. I don't know why that one specifically. That won't get you anywhere. All right. And goodbye, I thank you for all the food. Well done, buddy. You did it, you broke a random wall. And now they burn. Oh, I can do the Arcade Should we start the Arcade <laughs> Let's start over. Uh, I'm already, am I at 350,000? Yeah, 358. I'm on Archidex's territory. I always love self-cleaning uh, kill boxes. I know, right? Such a good time. Perfect. Perfect. That had a lot of sniper rifles. 35, did they all have sniper rifles? They all came with sniper rifles. <laughs> Everyone had a sniper rifle. Is that, uh, wall had the power line because then he might have been his goal with the wall. They didn't actually break the power conduit though. He broke the wall and walked away. It was picking, I don't think he had a target so he just picked a random wall. Oh damn, fire got to it. I missed out on the uh, component, the things. Unfortunate, oh well. All right, clean that all up. We got some weapons to sell still because they didn't quite all get burnt. That's fine. Easy raid, easy life. And unrestrict everybody. Uh, we made some maces. That's good. That's good. Bring up the elephants. Uh, animals. No. What did I press? How do I unsort like that? There we go. <laughs> Actually, that's probably better to sort by. Uh, okay. Much better. That's a lot easier. Done. Wait. Uh, but yeah, it was the wall that had the power line, but I think it's just because they had no other target. They fixed it already. Uh, so they went for the wall. I probably need some more stuff lying around the base that they can attack. Uh, like maybe more tables and chairs. We only have four, eight. Let's just do another set. Like that. That should be good. That should be great. Uh, power line walls. Power line walls. We have too much stuff again. Too much stuff. Garland pod sprout. Where? Harvest. Harvest. All right. All right. 
We are getting some new tables and chairs in for more people. So that should give us some more stuff to attack. Uh, so hopefully they will attack, stop attacking the walls. Um, what else we got to do? Finish cataphract armor research. Do some more gene packs. We've got healing enhancers to put in. Have we made those other things? We have made some stone skin glands. We will put them on... Them, I guess. Or armor skin, I should say. There we go. Have tables and chairs at every entrance. No more eight without a table debuff. I think that's probably the best way to do it too. I need to put more around the base. Uh, these are not gather spots though. Don't gather at them. All right, done. Done. I just decided to put a bunch here because when we finish a raid or something and they want to eat, they all go and rush to the tables to eat. Because they're just on the other side of this wall. Uh, we probably should have some around here-ish as well. Just out in the fields and stuff. Like, that could be useful. Maybe here. Like that. Chuck one. Oh, we've already got one over here somewhere. Yeah, over there. Uh, we have breach raids over here, so we need to put this in a specific spot. Maybe there. Like that. Done. Oh, already in a home zone. Home zone this bad boy. And that'll do. I probably have, should have one over here too. Yeah. One over here somewhere. Like here. There we go. In my collection, there is about a vanilla furniture expander that gives one by one tables. Crafting those everywhere helps a lot. One by one tables, that'd be pretty cool. We don't have one by ones, do we? On vanilla. Yeah, smallest is two by two by one. And two by two. Then two by four. Then three by three, which is the useless table. Don't ever usually use three by three. The other ones are fine. That one's useless. You have a wasted space. That's why you do multiple two by ones into the same space a three by three by three goes. And that way you can put something in the middle. Like a light or an art piece or something. Just something better than an empty space that you can't use. Empty space you can't use. How's the Devil Strand going? It's growing fine. How's my uh, other stuff going? It's okay. Uh, we could send a bunch of weapons or something for another ally. Maybe the Imperium would like some weapons. Armor skin. Wouldn't set them to do armor skin. It's all armor skin. There we go. So wait. In my collection, oh, I did read that one. Sorry, <laughs> I'm like, that's a new message. No, it's the same message. The corpses have a value if you shoot the corpses at them too. You can imagine being on the other side. Of just like, just dump the bunch of corpses. They do have wealth, yeah. Uh, I had a raid one time that gave me enough, uh, enough wealth for to do the Arco Nexus. I went for, I went up like 20k. It was huge. 10, maybe 10k, probably not 20. I'm, I'm just like, I'm like, oh, now I can do the Arco Nexus. It was great. Uh, Zach Drone. Hi. I don't think it affects most people. Some people are affected. It's a good way to see who's still affected. Mr. Urkin probably is. 
yeah, they're still A bucks. Uh, but I don't know what to give them. Actually, I'd probably give them the mo most basic one. Because I they don't need anything. They're already pretty good. All right, let's have a look. Let's see what we can make for them. So we want to keep the long hair and that. We want to give that and that. And super immunity. So we can give them psychically deaf. And we can give them psychite dependency. And... I mean... <laughs> we don't need to do much else. Uh, can we give them anything else? Oh, I didn't put purple skin in. Uh, now I have to take them out again. I thought I clicked purple skin. Deathless super immunity. Psychically deaf. Uh, total anti-toxic lungs, that. Uh, robust. Then I could take away things like... Uh, awful mining. And cold weakness. There we go. A really basic one, but they don't need really anything, so... They'll give them the same super genes and stuff, and the robust, and uh, deathless, and super immune. Uh, that should be good. Everyone says the save template. I, they have to be different every time. I, there's no point me using save template. <laughs> it has to be always different. Intellect, I mean, they're already basically the top of intellect. If I give them, it won't give them anything extra. Uh, I'm pretty sure intellect just gives them an extra passion. Uh, yeah, it gives them an extra eight plus a minor passion, so they don't need it. Uh, acts like an offset on one skill level. Additionally, an adi one additional passion is added to the intellectual. Since they're already a double into uh, already a double uh, passion, it doesn't really change much, but give them an extra po positive eight, which won't really do anything. So I've done that to someone before, and like, I don't know why I did it. It just wasn't needed. Uh, there we go. Alright. Let's combine that one. That can be for Mr. Erkin. I've been making them too complicated sometimes. I need to, I need to chill out. Just tone it down a bit, you know? Tone it down. How are we doing all these prisoners? This one's almost converted. We could uh, save the base template and just put it on, but it's only like a couple for the base template. There's only like the three things I always put on anyway, so I know to put them on. Deathless and robust. That's about it. The other things basically change every time. <laughs> uh, so the, I guess the uh, immunity one. Uh, still, I'd rather just do them. I can just click the ones I have. That's all I've got. The ones I have are all I got, you know? I don't know, this, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> it doesn't change anything. Rat's gone to bed. Needs to be trained. Apparently this burned for the, poor rat. Poor rat. All his food burned. Already 23% done. So wait. Look at him go! Boomalope 53 has given birth. You have a lot of boomalopes. Too many boomalopes. Too many boomalopes, too little time, you know. Too many, too little time. Uh, so what else we gotta do? We put that other armor skin in. Yes. All right, we need gold. I need gold. What do I get gold from? Probably buy it. I need to go trading or something. All right, we're ready to recruit that person too. Uh, put them back to regular. Again, so many meds installed. Great stuff. Alright. 
Uh, so armor skin's gone in. This person must be pretty damn strong now. They are going to need another bionic leg though to bring up their movement speed again. Unfortunately, the armor skin's slowing them down a bit. And the field hand. <laughs> they have both. Oh my god. Do many things slow them down. Is there a fast walking gene? That would have been good to have, I guess. I need more downsides though. Like the problem is I didn't have enough things to give metabolic back up. Hmm. The impits have that. Oh, they do. Yeah. It's a negative five though. <laughs> oh my god. What do they have? Oh, weak immunity. Negative two. Cold weakness, negative one. I mean, positive, sorry. Uh, positive one on poor plants, poor animals. Weak melee damage. Slow wound healing. Like, they got some really bad ones as well, though, to make up for that. Ah, uh, Mr. Urkin. Yeah, your mood's pretty bad now. So was Xercon. Theirs will get pretty bad as well. My yaks! They got the plague! Oh well. I'll just, I'll just tend to them. It's fine. Not like I don't have the meds or anything. Uh. Oh! We got a new person! Uh, was I going to take away their plants? I was going to take away their plants. Uh, let's set them up. Uh, so they are not going to be this because I'm going to take it away. They could do construction and they could do cleaning. There we go. So wait, and you're a melee. I will give you some kind of uranium mace. There's one outside. Let's put it outside because we have no room. Oh, you also need a leg. Uh, so, right leg. And we'll put in this one. All right, make sure it's correct. Yes. Yes, it is. Done. Uh, something I feel that in the game, Xenotypes are kind of bad on purpose, so you do new ones. I think that's the point, yeah. The basic ones are meant to be awful. For specific play styles, I guess, so you can do some like really specific runs, uh, but also so you can try and work on making better ones. You know, uh, problem I have is impids though is that they frick they have it is a germline. I don't like germline. You can't overwrite germline. Like there's nothing you can do about it. And I don't like that. I don't like it. There we go. Uh, we're gonna need another name. Do we have a mod in the chat to roll a name for me? Where are you off to? To build some stuff, I guess. You won't make it very good, but whatever. I need to uh, set these as not. Uh, gather spots as well. There we go. Mothworth's on the list. Here we go. Ah, oh, Mr. Erkin. I'll believe you. And another person. There's so many people on the list. Alright, I'm gonna roll it. I'll roll it myself. My bots always disappear when I need to roll it. Always. Let's see who it is. I'm waiting. It is Dork Knob. Alright. Dork Knob.
Wait. Uh, where is Dork Knob? 46 people. There it is. 20 days ago. Woohoo! Woohoo. 45 people now. <laughs> there's so many people on this. I can't wait to reset it. So there's less people. And then more people have a chance, I guess. All right, Dork Knob is ready to go. Let's have a look at him. So wait. Ah, uh, yeah. Psychic drone's not really helping, is it? Do you have a breakdown? Damn. I don't know what breakdown you had. Oh, hide and... No? That was someone else. I don't know. Rumble is already very complex, so it results in people barely touching xenotypes most of the time. Yeah, I know. Like, I don't really do it because just... Like, look at this. I've had to focus it just to do it. <laughs> you have to basically focus it if you want to do it. It's not easy to get into. Yeah, Dark Knob, you're selected. you become a colonist. And you've already been upgraded. Your barnic leg and uh, some jeans. You don't do too much, but I mean, you'll be very handy as a melee melee pawn. I'm a people. You're a people. They are our people. We have a healing enhancer. You know what? Chuck that on too. Healing enhancer. Uh, do we have a something else? Nope. Oh, we also have a xenogerm. That was for Mr. Erkin, but we can't put it on them because they are having a breakdown. Clap, 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 clap. Well done. Well done, you made it. You made it. So uh, just so everyone knows, on Monday will be the last day of this list. It will reset on Tuesday, uh, which means you'll have to put your names in again. But you will get the points that you put in for this uh, name list back. So you can just put your name straight back in the next time you come by. Uh, just refreshes it, puts, makes it so less people are in the list and gives more people a chance to get their name in again. But with the current rate the game's going, I don't know how many more colonists I'm going to get, so you might not be able to get into the next run anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> looking forward to pulling off my bionic leg and beating people with it. Sir, yes sir! Beating, beating people with a leg? No, 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 you don't need to do that. You got a mace. You got a mace for that. You can mace to the face. Give him a mace to the face. Beat him up. With your strong melee damage. It'd be great. I wish there was a way to train your melee damage, but I don't really get a chance to. Unfortunately. What'd you put on, by the way? A shield belt. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Sweet dreams. Uh, enhancer, enhancer. Gave them the healing enhancer. All right. We just need gold. We need gold. Give me the gold. What can we get rid of in here? We have a lot of wood. Uh, I don't know what to do. It's got so much stuff. I think it's mostly weapons and stuff that's just taking up slots. I might go trading. I'll manually go trading, I guess. I could probably send Xercon. Or Jay Alistair, who also has a good social. Alright, you've snapped out of it. Uh, let's get you that. Xenogerm. Which I think has what I had made for you. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Done. Another person with another Xenogerm. Good stuff. Good stuff. How are you doing? 4.7. That's still a little while. They got a little while. 
Uh, what do we gotta do? Trade. J. Alistair can go trade. Oh, they're gonna be- it's gonna be tough to send them because they are not capable of combat. So if I encounter combat, I can't do anything. So I probably shouldn't send them. Maybe Mr. Urkin probably would be better to send because they are capable of social as well. Uh... Got anyone else? Jettafish? They're only level 7. Nah, I probably should send Mr. Urkin with a level 13. We'll send them with some, uh, elephants. And then we can, uh, try and get some stuff sold. And maybe get some more things? Maybe some gold? I need to buy some gold. But they're gonna be in here for a couple days. Uh, when is the next raid? Never. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, you got the gray egg as well. Why does that happen? Ah, uh, maybe I put it in the wrong order. Ah, oh, well. Gray and purple, I guess. I guess they're the gray and purple people. <laughs> the other one was gray and they weren't in the wrong order. I don't know how they ended up being gray. See, so like, it's purple. I, I don't know. Broken. It's broken. Game broken. There's so much stuff in here. Game broken. I don't know anymore. I don't, I don't know. What's what's real, chat? What's real? What's good? Rimworld's not real. Or is it? Do you think we'll ever get to that state where we start colonizing the galaxy? The drow have infiltrated the colony. Yeah. Not that I can do about it. Like, the, um, one of the genes, like, the Psychite Psy Dependence one has grey skin in it. And I can't get rid of it. So, I just have to deal with it if it pops up. I could have spent more time trying to get it without the grey skin, but... Oh, well. That's fine. It's fine. It adds some variety, you know? A little bit of variety is not bad. Nothing bad with a bit of variety in our cosmetic skin colours. Everyone's colored. What do you mean? <laughs> Everyone's got a skin color. <laughs> Stop trying to change what it is. Stop it. Purple's a skin color. Gray's a skin color. It's just a skin color. I was just trying to be all purple to make it like all match, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Who cares? All right, when they're up, we'll send them on the expedition with an elephant. We can go trade some stuff. Uh, here's a ginger under the Australian sun. You think I go in the sun? You think I touch the sun? Sun doesn't touch this skin. Why do you think I'm so pale? Why do you think I'm so pale? It burns me too quickly, so I don't, I don't go out in the sun. And when I do, sunscreen. Lots and lots of sunscreen. Too much sunscreen. Can't, can't not have sunscreen. Sunscreen is near required for my uh, my ability to go out in the sun. When I went on a cruise, you know how much sunscreen I put on those days? Oh my goodness. I did not want to burn. And even even when I uh, I like I could feel it's like the, it's like the, the sunscreen is working, but I could feel it trying to burn me. I think I got mildly burnt, which was very surprising. Very mild. Though not bad enough that it actually hurt. Just bad enough to turn the skin red. I was happy. I was happy. I keep talking about the cruise. Cruise was great. I loved the cruise. I loved, but also didn't love. There's, there's, a, there's a mix. It was great, but also things happened and you're like, ugh. Why did things happen? Why did said things happen? You know, we could just dump the weapons. I don't need the money. I don't think there's anything I need to buy at the moment. Besides, I need gold. I do need gold. I up and get out of bed. I got things to do. You got like what two days or something, don't you? One point two. Nine hours. Fine. It's fine. 
Uh, this new person, Dork Dub. Turn you off that. That way, you basically do next to nothing but clean and haul. Sweet. Actual photo. Not Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, because it's deleted from chat and not everyone can see. Uh... Me on the cruise. It's perfect. It's per- <laughs> I don't know. That's not how you put sunscreen on. Uh, <laughs> that's just funny. Why would he put that much on his face? You don't need to rub it in, dude. You don't just put it on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he even human? I don't think he's human. I don't think it's human. How you doing, Vang? Have you said anything? Have I missed you saying things, Vang? Or have you just popped in? Or have you been lurking? I've been lurking. Uh, no, no, he's not. That's the plastic discoloring. <laughs> ah, true. He's a robot. He's a plastic robot. Oh, God. Don't remember, I've been lurking all day playing Mech Engineer. Mech Engineer sounds cool. What's be me 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 What's Mech Engineer about? Uh, I'm assuming it's about engineering mechs, but to what extent? Do you drive them? Do you have a good time with them? Hurry up and get up! You're almost over it. Okay, sweet. You're next. 19 hours. It's a new, unique game where you have a city on legs and Earth is full of bugs, I think. Wait, what? It's about mechs, of course it is. You know what I get about all this conspiracy stuff? Why would the reptilioids make the climate change up? Reptiles do better in hot climates. Wouldn't it make more sense if they didn't support the climate change deniers? To get warm? Very true. <laughs> I mean, why why are people against the whole climate change? Like, there's so much evidence showing that it's happening. Why would you say, oh, it's not happening? It just makes... Why would we make it up? Why would we make it harder for ourselves to live and change it? Like, change is hard. Why, why would we do that? Like... I, like, it'd be easy if we just all stuck with chemical frickin' fuels and stuff like that. But you know what? We can't because frickin' <laughs> denying is easier than, than change. That's what I mean, but why would we, like, I guess denying is easier, but why would we make it up? Why would we want to change? It's so stupid to, de like, just even say that. It, it's so stupid for them to say that. All right. We got another new person. That's another one on the list. Well, not a doctor. I don't know why he keeps assigning people to doctors. Uh, you can do animal handling. Uh, not hunting because you're going to be melee. Yeah, you're a melee. Alright. You can do plant cup and not grow. Uh, you can do art. And you could do hauling. And maybe uh, research if you have the time. Uh, construction. You do have a passion. You know what? You can do that too. So wait. And level four, so you can go here for now. Nope, you go above ink to pop. Is it level three? Uh, you need a mace. The couple, there's one there, so you grab the mace and do whatever after you've done that. And uh, we need to assign you to a uh, sleep schedule and we need to roll a name. Let's go. Denying gives you two advantages, you don't need to change, and you are the good guys now, so basically you can fight the bad guys, but just being who you are, isn't that neat? That's so stupid. <laughs> Come down, kid, yeah. Uh, alright. Come down, kid, yeah. Done. And we'll clear them from the list too. If I can find them. There's so many people on this list. I need a command to clear names. Uh, 
I don't even know what color their name would be. Makes it even harder to find. Wait, is that the blank name? I have to go throw it now. Because there's a blank name in this list and I don't know who it is. If it's them, I guess their account's gone. Uh... Yep, okay. Well, that was the blank name. <laughs> so, <laughs> we might roll it again. I don't think they've got an account. So, uh, can we type that into Twitch and see if that account exists anymore? Uh, how is it spelt? Comrade and yeah. Ah, this channel is currently unavailable due to a violation of Twitch's community gui guidelines or terms of service. Okay, we'll re-roll the name. Uh, we re-roll the name. They just don't exist anymore. <laughs> Let's do it again. There you go. I found out something. That's who the hidden name was. We figured it out, everybody. We figured it out. I guess so. Probably why I haven't seen him for so long. DJ Virus, you're up. Where was that person? Right there. Uh, DJ Vi Vi Virus 227. Done. You got in. You got in. I'll clear that name off too now. Done. Got lucky three days ago. Well, it's not like a new phenomenon to get him to change his name. Well, they didn't change the name, they just got banned. They've obviously violated Twitch terms of service. Maybe they were not old enough to be on Twitch and Twitch found out. Maybe they'd done something to another community. They hadn't done anything here, but they could have done something rude or posted something they shouldn't have, or they might have even streamed something they shouldn't have. I don't know. They're gone. They're gone. Never to be seen again. Unless they made a new account. Maybe they did. I don't know. <laughs> they just haven't come back. <laughs> Alright. Got more healing enhancers. We could put another healing enhancer into somebody else. Uh, Mr. Urka needs to get up though. Got two hours left. All right, sweet. We don't have a hel- Oh yeah, we don't have advanced components to make the helmet. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. What do I do with said stuff? Sell it. Once Mr. Erkin gets up, then I can go sell it. Uh, but it could be a raid. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. I don't know what to do with all. Plus I'd sell it. I've probably a lot of weapons in there or something. Ah, oh, Mr. Erkin's up! You're alive! Bring an elephant. Failed to train an elephant. All right. So wait. Uh, so I'm sure I could send away probably one person, right? Yeah, you know what? I'll do it, even if I get raided. Uh, Mr. Erkin, uh, send him with a couple elephants, or just one elephant, probably. Elephant seven, why not? Uh, and then items, we need to get rid of a bunch of this junk that we have tons of. So much stuff. Biocoded weapon, probably not, uh, because we can't sell that. And uh, not the uranium mace, that's good, because that's for us. 
Uh, good assault rifle sell. Uh, those, that, that, not the doomsday, we'll use that, maybe, sometimes, you never know. Heavy SMGs, incendiary launcher will keep, another heavy SMG, EMP launcher is not very useful, smoke launcher will keep, sniper rifles will sell, uh, doomsday is triple doomsday, that's all fine, get rid of those. Uh, we don't need the gas masks anymore. Let's get rid of them. Take them to sell. Uh, that's ready to go. They're ready to go. That's an 88. It's like normal anyway. Get rid of that. That. The... Wait, no. Oh, these are flak helmets. Yeah, get rid of these. Get rid of the flak helmets. Done. Uh, fire foam will keep. Some tainted clothes. I don't know where they came from. 50%. Get rid of them. I can't remember if he killed Burris already. Oh, no, he, he dead. He died at the start. <laughs> Again. <laughs> He's the only one with an actual grave. Because uh, I buried him because he was my first death, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he got in the colony straight away and he died straight away. It was very unfortunate. It was so unfortunate. So unlucky. Tribal... Kid Parker, that, that, uh, get rid of that too. Oh, these are tainted, I can't get rid of them. Alright. <laughs> so it's a novel run that exactly. You know what's going on. We'll send about a thousand silver, because I don't know how much I'll need. Uh, travel supplies, we won't automatically do it. We will take them with... Uh, 10 foods. Uh, not regular medicine, just take some herbal. And a bedroll. Should be good enough. Oh, and some tea. Uh, take it with four tea. Just in case. Wait. 2.6 days. Just one way. A vegetarian spack of survival meal is not allowed? I'm sorry? Ah, oh, the elephant. It can eat on the root. <laughs> the elephant can eat. Eats the grass and stuff. So we got unlimited food. But if it can't, it won't be happy. Pretty sure every part of this root is food. Owls could graze, yeah. It's it's fully grazable. I don't know. The stupid ass doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird. All right. And they're off. Hopefully we can get some gold. Because we can't mine it at the moment. It'll be good to get some. And maybe some advanced. We could probably just buy some advanced components too, but we'll see. We will see. And they're off. Except they're not. They're asleep. They slept immediately. Always sleeping. Look at all these purple people. And this person. They don't belong. <laughs> I think almost everyone's got a... A Xenogene. Legendary charge rifle. Damn. We're some good weapons. We're rich. We are rich. But yeah, Zand Rufi, I killed the bird. Oh, here, by the way, uh, down here. Here's his grave. Burris's grave. Contains Burris, a uh, framer, dead. We also gave him a um, uh, Grand Steely. 
I call them as DLE because it's with an extra E. Why? I don't know. I don't know why they're called steals. It's a steal! Why is it a steal? What even that what does that mean? Call it a rock monument. It's not even made of steel. <laughs> it's a rock monument for all I know. God it takes so long just to trade. This is why I don't go trade. Like look how long it takes. This is such a good area, but if it wasn't for the jungle, jungle ruined everything for us. Jungle ruined all. It still is a death monument that doesn't have a body beneath it. Is that what it's actually for? Because that's perfect. I'm glad I put it out the front. Yeah, I sent an elephant. It's still that long. <laughs> <laughs> it has there's only one person with an elephant and it still takes two days it's because of the jungle slows them down so much even the roads are slow I'll give you the speed give me a second uh, movement difficulty of one or two on the grass and one on the road if we go over to a other area like up here it's oh still one we still jungle here? Oh yes, tropical. Never mind. Sorry, up here. <laughs> it's 0.5 on the road and 0.5 on this road. So it's like half. It's so slow in the jungle. It takes so long to get anywhere. I probably could have sent a second elephant. It might have helped. Might have. How long have you got left to? 15 days. All right. All right. Maybe even a, a drop pod probably would have been quicker. If I sent three drop pods, we would have just been there and had to walk back. That could have been fine. This is cleaned up a bit. That's much better. Uh, all the weapons were just taking up space. Because they take up one slot each. So, cleaning them up. Cleaned up some space. We have a lot of extra beds again, too. We had them for um, other people. Other people. Uh, who was the other new person? DJ Virus. Uh, we need to put in some things into you. Healing Enhancer could go into you. Um, can you do drilling? No, but I could get you doing drilling. Maybe. Open TTD. I feel like I know what that is, but I also don't at the same time. That is a game. Open TTD. I'm pretty sure. Open TTD. Yes, it's a game. I've played it before. No. It's a city... No, a, no, a transport game. It's about um, managing transportation, but it's free. It's free to play, very low graphics, but it, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. I played for a bit, but it wasn't really me. It wasn't really for me, I should say. But they just came in and said it. Why did you randomly just say open TTD? <laughs> just randomly out of nowhere. Open TTD! Okay. Transport industry game. Takes so long. Transportation Empire, yeah. Exactly. Dogs. Dogs. Uh, so, DJ Virus. I need you to have an operation. DJ Virus, I misclicked. Health, I want you to have a healing enhancer. There you go. Enjoy your healing enhancer. Have a good time with your healing enhancer. Wow, they're going to do it right there. Okay. Not in the hospital. They're going to do it in your bed. <laughs> 
You wake up, it's like, God, what happened last night? Great, go fast. Sure. Nice. Now you've been healing enhanced. Cheddar, I forgot you were the child cheddar fish. Oh, damn. You're only 18 years old. Look at your stats. You're amazing. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, very new. I think they've been following for quite a while. Uh, February 2022. They've been following for quite a while. <laughs> Definitely not new. Uh, but yes, never does what he's told. I never do what I'm told. You think I do things? Funny. One day. One day we'll make it. Unlimited food. See, I don't know why I was telling me about food problems before. Nick J. Price. Thank you for the follow. Well, I think it's ours to you. I'm going to you. That'll be forever. Transportation. I'm doing transportation right now. It's just taking a million years on an elephant. Elephants go slow. It's actually the jungle. It makes us slow. Freaking slow jungle. How you doing, Raid Rat? Looks like your toxic lung thing is fine. You're alright. Uh, you have been here for over a year. Following since February 18, 2022. You've been here over a year. Much over a year. It's now what? July? It's been over a year. I'm sorry, I'm not mistaken. It tells me. <laughs> I think you're mistaken. Methinks thou art quite foolish, friend, for I have been hither for one year. I hast been hither for one year. I wouldn't say one year if you're going to go old English. You'd say one circuit around the this, this, around soul or around the sun. How, else, how would they say it? One loop around soul. Uh, anyway. But yes, you have. <laughs> go follow age. Exclamation follow age. And that'll tell you that you've been here for a year. My bottle is empty. I'm thirsty. And I'm out of water. Rat Raid. The second. Rat Raid the second. Uh, do we... Have we made another? No. Uh, we still have another healing enhancer. Uh, I will put that on somebody. That I used to know. Uh, are you ready to go back in to try and get the thingy? You are. Alright. Alright. Once you've eaten and everything, you should be fine. Where are they? What are they doing? Researching. Go and eat something! You need food! Look, you're starving! Go and eat so I can throw you in a thing- There you go. Sweet. They're on their way. Fake. Not real. Not real. Enter the gene extractor. We're extracting your genes. This counts as outdoors. Being in the gene extractor gives them outdoors. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. I'm pretty sure there's no outdoors here. No, there is no outdoors here. Yes, I'm getting my outdoor time. Yeah, definitely a bug. <laughs> I don't, it's definitely not supposed to do that. The others, yeah. Reduce comfort and beauty. And recreation. And sleep and food, obviously. But increased outdoors by laying in the bi- In the, the bi sculpted The gene extractor? Weird. Chicken sound? True. Very true. 
The truest of trues. The falsest of falsests. Uh, the thingiest of things. The chickenest of chickens. Are you there yet? No. Almost. I'll be there one day. One day, just not today. Good, my tables are coming in handy. He didn't eat without a table. Or she didn't eat without a table. And they're off to bed. Good stuff, good stuff. Who else needs a healing enhancer? Let's have a look. Uh, exotic goods trade ship? Yes. Uh, we'll grab Exoticon. And we'll call them. So wait. All right, back to this. So they have one. 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 Uh, they have one. They have one. They have one. They have one. They do not. And JL sort of doesn't either, I don't think. But because they're not in combat, they don't really need it as much. So I think we're okay. You're almost done. Not starving yet. That's good. Why can't you make a train in RimWorld? Good question. Why can't you make a train in RimWorld? I would love a train in RimWorld. That would be fantastic. Uh, have some of that too. There you go. Uh, do they have gold? You have gold? You have gold! Give me your gold. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. I'll take all the gold. I'll also take... All your Neutramine, and I'll figure out something to sell. In a second. We also got poison. <gasps> I want that too! I don't have enough money for all this! I don't have enough money! Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Or do I want that? No, I'll get rid of it. Uh, Psychite Dependency, though. That's fine. That's all fine. Okay. Uh, selling thingy, selling, selling. What can we sell? I'm gonna keep the. I'm gonna keep the dubs there because you never know if you're gonna use them. Uh, we got boomalopes and stuff. We probably have tons. All right, boomalopes. I tried too many m ooze, ooze, too many ooze, too many ooze with the boomalopes. Train can easily beat some tribals. I mean, I would like a train. I want a train. Sell these females. Sell those males. Sell some of those. Sell them. Keep the pregnant ones. So we've only got one male and the calves. That's good. Okay. Uh, we got the yaks as well. My, my freaking screen on the other side is flickering. It's not, it's not flicker for stream, right? Steel needs iron? Had a mod idea long to uh, those lines of a rumor, but don't code. I don't know anyone who does that kind would develop it. Uh, someone's already made a train mod. It just, I don't know if it worked very well, though. Uh, I think it was okay. There are some problems that there's nothing that works like that in RimWorld, really, so it kind of worked like the ship instead uh, where it flew away. You still have to make rails for it to follow, but visually it would land on the rail and then take off from the rail because it didn't really have a movement physics that worked very well. Uh, so yeah, it, it, I, I, they might have fixed it now, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Get rid of that one. There we go. How am I doing? That's fine. Uh, elephant. How many elephants? We got tons of elephants. Let's sell these ones. And those ones. We got a couple of males, right? Yeah, that's fine. Get rid of those. That brings down the price a little bit. Uh, and that should be good. Yes, yes, that should be good. SRTX has a little shuttles you can get. SRTX, then the helicopter mod. Helicopter mod as well, yeah. There needs to be some kind of extra more vehicles in RimWorld, I believe. 
Uh, like, there's not enough transportation. Like, drop pods are cool and all, but they're so limited. Animals are slow. And they're, like, it seems primitive. Like, it's good for early game, but late game is just like, why? We have shuttles, but we have to use them with the Empire. We can't make them ourselves. Like, there needs to be more. There needs to be more transportation style and things to do. Where's the train update? When's any update? <laughs> when do we get to the next update? Where's the next DLC? I want it now. All right. We rich now. We rich. We can make stuff again. And we have poison synthesis, so we can get a researcher to do that too. Uh, now you're doing that. Who else we got? A mish. Apply the tech print. There we go. Can you make a war elephant? My elephants are war elephants. Wall elephants, you could say. Uh, they do combat. Not so much anymore because I'm powerful enough that I don't need them as often. But they're still handy. They'd still come in handy and I end up killing them a lot. It's been so many elephant deaths. So, so many. We're almost there. Almost there. Ah, wealth drop. <laughs> The idea was for hand carts and wagons. You build a wagon, hook your cart animal to it, and then you can haul a lot more loot. That could be cool. That could be really cool. Like, not like not just um, riding the animal, but you could just have a carriage and stuff for the animal to use. That'd be great. Wagons. And hand carts. That'd also be really cool. I wonder if there's anything like that. I guess it's never been a priority because the game is supposed to be way shorter, I think. Have you seen speedruns? I mean, speedruns isn't a good representation of how the game is meant to be played, really. But how long... Like, game is meant to go long term. I feel like that's what it's meant to be. I play it pretty short. But even so, this is a pretty long run, again. Uh, nothing like that exists mod-wise, but I don't know if who can make it. Yeah, I know. I understand that. I wouldn't know either. Um, I mean, I could... Tr I, I mean, I would know how to do it, but I don't have the time. I've got other things I'm working on anyway. <laughs> but there's, pro there's definitely people out there. You could probably give the idea to somebody, and someone might make it. I have over 3,000 hours now, and I'm I never finish the game just because I like to play my colleagues to all to all eternity. Exactly. I don't think it's meant to be ended. This game's not meant to have just an ending. It's just got endings for people like me that want to do an ending. Where's the Steam Engine mod? I don't know what it's called. You'd have to look it up. You'd have to find it. Oh, Caravan's there. I missed that. Uh, trade. Sell the thingies! Sell the thingies! Sell the thingies! Where's the thingies to sell? There's the thingies to sell. Have some thingies. Have all the thingies. I hope you like my thingies. We have so much thingies to sell. So much. Uh, good clothes. We got a bit of everything, really. You want you like broken old clothes? Excellent, me too. All right, what have they got to buy? You got gold? Gold. I will take your gold. Thank you for the gold. I can't mine the gold, so I'll buy your gold. I will take your components, and I'll take... Your advanced components. Yes, I will take the advanced components. Do I take... Oh, I bought tons of Nutramine. I don't need more Nutramine. Uh, what else we got? Oh, they got some... Kill Thirsty! Uh, raw voice, pig voice. Strong stomach! Cool. Uh, Neuro Hand... Nah, nah, I don't need all that. Don't need that. Uh, Mono Sword, good. It's a bit expensive, can't afford it. They had two of them, too. Uh, really like if they put... They put that in as an ending, like if you were big raids and then your colony is an established city. That'd be nice. That would be a good, like the long-term ending. 
I, I was hoping there'd be something like that. There's nothing in the game like that. Uh, you have to pay a special amount of silver to the empire to gain the land rights to be a city. Yeah, I, I could see that. I that, That'd be cool. I'd like something like that. That'd be nice. Like an established ending where you just basically, that is it. You've, you've done. You've won the game. <laughs> and there has to be a new song for it. There has to be a new song to go with it. Uh, alright. I think that's it. I think we're done. We've got what we wanted. Let's go home. Only 1.3 days back. That's alright. Alright. Got a few holes of blood on it, but it's gonna be fixed. Exactly. That's what I mean. We can't fix it, but maybe they can. Holes of blood. It's all good, it's all good, it's fine. It's a little damaged, it's still good, it's still good. It's still good, it's still good. Uh, what do we get out of the gene pack? I hope we got the social one. Uh, nope. Violence disabled and high libido. Yeah, not what I wanted. How about you? Are you good to go in again? No, eight days. Master work, Marine helmets. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. DJ virus, you got a helmet. Unless someone else takes it. Then you don't have a vi- then you don't have the virus. Virus? You don't have a virus. You don't have a helmet. Nope, Rainbow took it. You got a different one. You got a good one. <laughs> I used good one. There they come. There they go. There you go. Good stuff. Sweet. Nice. Uh, who's next for gene implants? I would say it's actually DJ Virus. Uh, we can give them intellectual because that's what they're doing. And... DJ Virus. You're not gonna be a planter and you're not gonna be an... I mean, you are an animal. No, you're a cook. Okay, no, that's fine. Get rid of your animals too. That should be fine. Okay. So wait. Ah, uh, wrong button. So, we want that, that, that. We want deathless. We want super immunity. We want psychic death. We want total length of toxic lungs. We want cold weakness. We want... Oh, no, they have to be strong there. melee. They get... Mm, it's fine. I wonder if I could fit it. I wonder if I could fit it. Uh, awful mining, awful plants, awful animals. Oh, I could! I could fit it. <laughs> um, <laughs> do I need anything else? It's dark with everything. I don't have any water, so I can't do fluid intake. I can't do fluid intake. All the other ones are fine. Boss check, maybe. Maybe. I gave a strong melee, right? Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Alright, deathless super wow. immune, psychic death. Total anti-toxic loss, cold weak, the strong melee, psychic dependency, great intellectual, awful mining, awful plants, awful animals. That's fine because we don't need them doing all that. But they were pretty good at animals, so I wonder if I can give them something different. Poor cooking? Did I have the- they had- were on cooking though, weren't they? No, maybe not poor cooking. Poor social. Yeah, poor social. There we go. That should be better. Your thumb is on the way! Thumb is on the way. Take a sound. Thumb? Your thumb? <laughs> uh, that should be good, so... Mining, plants, and social. That was for DJ Virus. Mining, plants, and social. Yeah, that's fine. Sweet. Strong melee and uh, good intellectual. Perfect. Dumbo! The cornflakes? I don't know. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, thrum. So thumb. Uh, your thrum, not thumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's that time of night, all right? I can't read anymore. I can't read. It's it's late, all right? It's almost midnight. Give me, give me a give, give me a break. Oh, it's midnight. I don't know how to read. I'm only 14 hours on that. It's fine. Don't shake your head at me. Oh, th thrum plush. Thrum plush. Thumb plush. <laughs> Get the thumbs up plush. Uh, how's stream been? Tiring. But good. Had a good time. Uh, no problems, actually. Like, it's the game, when you get to this stage, the game actually gets quite easy. Established colonies, like, it could still end up, I could still end up dying, but most raids aren't so bad. I've got the stuff to deal with basically everything, so I'm good. H having the lack of turrets is kind of annoying, though, but it's still deal, I can still deal with it. The uh, elephants do a lot of work for those kind of raids. If they're breaching, elephants. If they're sapping, elephants. If they're doing a regular raid, heat box. Speaking of heat box, uh, we need to set it up again. And there's still a sniper rifle. A buy a coated sniper rifle in there. That's where it was. And repairs. Where are you off to? Cleaning trash? No. Do that. No cleaning. Uh, well, actually, I'll forbid that. You know what? Screw it. If they want to clean, they can go do it. Uh, and then we need to turn off the construction. And then build the heat box. There we go. Done. Hopefully someone will do that eventually. Uh, we've got a lot of wood, so they should be able to do it pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. They cleared a the little bit of trash there. That's all good. That's all good. Drum plush is on the way. Drum plush. Wonder when it'll arrive. Oh, yeah. I was meant to message you as well, but I forgot. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I messaged Kurt. Maybe I should message Doug to say I finally got it. And then I sat down and completely forgot to do it. But yeah, I finally got it. I finally got it. <laughs> See how it is? Yeah, Curbs. Curbs the new Dark. <laughs> you haven't been playing. You haven't been playing much Warframe, so I, I've forgotten to do it. I, I was doing that with Curb, so that's why I mentioned Curb first. <laughs> Come play Warframe again, Dark. Come play Warframe. Great game. Good stuff. Alright. Done. Sweet. Fixed. We can fix up the work schedule. Uh, you level four, level four. Yeah, that's fine. Tells me everything. Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I knew you would have found out eventually. I posted it on other channels as well. I posted it on Discord. Don't like it as much. You probably burnt yourself out. It's understandable. But yeah, I'm like, now that I'm done with Wisp, I'm going to have a brief break while it's building, and I'll work on Chooks again, because uh, I don't really have much else to do. Uh, I've got other weapons to grind for, I guess, but on honestly, I need to do some Chooks work again. I had a break from Chooks. I can get back into it now. Back into the Chook work. Royal Tributes are collecting. Got too addicted to Warframe, especially when Wisp Prime came out. Got me worse. How long you got? 11 days. This just takes forever. These aren't worth doing when you're not a, um, a, a, what's it called? What are the people called? Transhumanist. It takes so long without transhumanist. How long you got? You're almost back. 0.2 days. All right. Is it becoming night though? You probably stop just before you reach it. Yeah, it's night time. <sighs> but yeah, I got Wisp Prime. Now I gotta wait three days, dog. I gotta wait three days. Three days for it to craft. Uh, I would still be farming it though, because it's still worth a lot of money on the market. Uh, so if I get more pieces, I'll sell them. People want Wisp Prime, therefore it's worth a bit of flat. 
Also, I need more plat. I'm running out of plat again. I need to uh, sell some stuff. I've got tons of stuff to sell. I just haven't done it. It's a pain to trade. Trading takes forever. You have to wait for people to accept. Painful, painful. What are you doing? Praying. Praying to who? Me? I am your god. I control everything. Rock, why won't you finish this armor skin gland? Uh, caravan arrived. Finally, it's back. It was the elephant. Uh, a couple of months, I've just got to bu uh, wait and buy it. It'll go down in price. It's expensive at the moment because it's new. It'll go down to probably like the regular price of like 20 plat for the top tier item. At the moment, I think it's about 50 or 40. It was at 60 when it first came out. It's dropping in price. I saw one for 100. They just, I, they're never going to sell it for 100 now. Like, <laughs> listing it for 100 is a bit silly. <laughs> That will go down. Like it's not a, it's not the top frame. No one, not many people actually play Wisp, so it'll go down. I just like Wisp, which is why I grinded so hard for it. My most played frame. Favorite. Favorite frame. No other frame is that good. Actually, the gem one, the newer one of the newer ones, is pretty good. That'd be great as a prime as well. Uh, what's the name? And Gaia. Gaia is pretty good. Some of the new frames are really good. Citrine, yeah. Citrine's pretty good. I kind of like those support frames. And Gaia is a damage frame. And Titania is a damage frame. Uh, there's certain types of playstyles I like. And some of the frames have it and some of the ones don't. Some of them don't. Death Pixie. True. It's true. Four hours! We're almost got another gene pack. Almost. Oh my god, look at the time. It's midnight. Where's the time gone? Where's the time gone? Someone stole it from me. Getting a few advanced components. Uh, where are we at? So Mr. Urkin's back. The mood's a bit low, but it should be going up now. They're getting recreation and beauty and all that stuff again. So they should be pretty happy soon. That'll be good. That'll be good. Yeah, a little bit hungry. Doing some recreation. Look at them. Look at that. It's good. It's good. Get some recreation done. Trading just takes so long. Especially when you have to be out there for days just with an elephant. You're an elephant. And we have so much Nutramine now. Oh, I don't probably I don't know if I'll need any more now. We got extras. Tons. Neutramine. And... Is this done yet? Yes, where'd they put it? In here. Uh, this is for our new person, DJ Virus. Cannibal Optimus Nimble. Damn, they're such a good melee person. Okay, uh, DJ Virus. Confirm. Done. Alright, sweet. Scarless would be a really good one to have too. Unfortunately, I didn't get that one. Only two Archite capsules left. How many people don't have the genes? Uh, you have it, you have it. You have it, you have it. You don't, that's one. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have it. Yes. You do. I think one of these other ones don't. You do. You don't. Because I made a custom, a small custom one. Uh, you do. You are getting it. You do. You don't. And you don't. So, I think there's like four people. And Fire Steve. Five people. Five people currently don't have... The special gene. The special genes. Uh, but I don't know if I can get Fire Steve some of the good ones because of their impid status. Impids just so hard to modify. I probably could put a really basic one on them for Deathless and that's about it. And maybe the resilience. Just the basics. Lag? 
Uh, Menace Pods. Architect Eye. Armor Skin, Tough Skin. No, I don't really want that. Yeah, probably uh, the Architect Eye and the Psychic Aminator. Uh, what's in it? Eight Troopers. Ooh. Uh, Centipedes, Lancers, Militar, Pikemen, Scorcher, Tesseron, Auto Mortar. Ooh. Uh, Countdown Activator, Proxy Activator, Unstable Power Cell, Mech Nodes, Mech Capsules, Mech Assemblers. Seven capsules and four assemblers. Two drop beacons. Mm, no shields, though. I mean, it's doable. The fact we get, like, freaking eight people as well, though. That's kind of irritating. I don't want the eight people. I could do it without them. Seems like a lot of note, but I think it's doable. The auto mortar, like, it doesn't have a shield. I could take out the auto mortar really quickly with some of my, um, mortars myself. Uh, the actual, the amount of mechs coming out of that, though, because, like, that, the list there is not too many. But then we've also got, what was it? Uh, seven capsules, which can contain up to, like, four each. Uh, then we got four assemblers, which we don't know what they're assembling. And then we got two drop beakers, which I don't know how many drop with a drop beacon, but it's sometimes quite a few. Like, this is pretty big. But I think I think it's doable. I probably don't want to do it straight away, though, so we could probably leave it a couple days before I accept it. Just because we got a raid coming. Like, I'm surprised we haven't had a raid yet. <laughs> like, look at this gap. That's a huge gap. Yeah, they ha it, has, uh, prox it has, like, four proxy senses. Uh, proximity activators, yeah. It has, it has like four. So I couldn't get close to it to do anything to it. Because I know what you were saying, just to cover up the uh, auto mortar. And I could have done that. But the proxy activators uh, kind of stopped that from happening. <laughs> uh, so you can get mechs and breaches. Yeah, no thank you. I don't want mechs and breaches. And breach mechs. And mech breaches. There's no actual building in it, though, I don't think. Like, sometimes they have a bad building, but it doesn't have a bad building. Nothing that affects us. It'll be dormant, so... It's fine. Cataphract armor's on the way, too. We're replacing these helmets with cataphract helmets. I don't know if we'll be getting the cataphract armor, but the helmets will be good. The, the mortar is the bad build. Ah, true. I guess. But it's not hard to deal with, and it depends on the start timer. It might not start activated. It could have, like, a several day activated time, which is even easier to deal with. So, we'll see. We'll see. I might- I probably will accept it. Just for the, um, architect eye. Architect. Architect. I gotta say it right. I can't say it right. But I'll wait till the raids. Wait till the raids first. Uh, how's my water? Uh, definitely out of water. I'm thirsty! I'm thirsty! There we go. I got a drop. <laughs> I got a drop of water. Alright! That's looking good. That's looking good. I want to take that raid. I want to take it. But I want to wait. I want to wait. I want to do it. We got the psych animal psychic pole, so we could use that to deal with the, um, the mechs as well. Like, it will- it will do a fair bit, depends on where it lands. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh. Nature. And he ate the whole thing. That was some nature for you. Do you enjoy nature? I enjoy nature. I thoroughly enjoy nature. Alright. Oh, it's that- it's late. It's getting late already. I can't believe it's that time of night. I'm waiting for that raid, though. Look at that wealth. That little dip in the wealth. Look, look at this gap. That's huge. Raids just not happening. There will be no raids today. No raids at all. Right, what we got? We got an armor skin. Uh, we'll give it to them. Put the armor skin in. We have another healing enhancer as well. Alright. 
Looking good. Looking very good, giving them intellectual. Fog Ox. Fog Ox. What a, what a name, Fog Ox. <laughs> Here we go. Good stuff. Done. Now they've got armor skin. We really need to make the um, the prosthetic nose, the aesthetic nose, whatever it's called. So um, they retain their beauty status, I guess. Because they're currently ugly. Ugly. We don't want them being ugly. So we'll make an armor skin as well. How many more we got to make? Oh, several. We slowed down because uh, we ran out of advanced components. There's a random unfinished drill arm here. Might have to cancel that and just get the components out of it. Because I don't think they're going to make it ever. Made another drill arm and didn't use the existing one. Don't know how that happens sometimes. They end up like completing it while half making one. Strange. Strange, strange behavior. Alright. Oh no! 2,500 res, 3,000 coins. Oh, I need to get rid of some food again. Alright. Nice. 1,000 corn. 2,000. Should be fine. We have so much food. All right, go. Nice, so wait. So much corn, so much rice. A little time. Uh, we want to summon that mech raid and we want to wait for an actual raid to happen before I summon a mech raid. It's taking too long. Nine days left on you. Okay, uh, what else we got? What am I up here? Over here. I think we're okay. Did we make this? We did, we put it in them. I'm losing track. I think I, I think I'm getting too tired. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's terrible. It's terrible. Pat, thank you. Thank you for the pat. I appreciate. Ah. All right. All right. Well, you know what? I'm much over time tonight. I think I'm going to have to go and do a raid or something. I believe I, uh, I have to wrap this up. Uh, we're not going to get the raid. I was kind of waiting for the raid to see what happens, but uh, guess uh, it's going to be have to wait till the next stream, which is going to be tomorrow uh, or today because it's midnight for me now. Um, so we'll wrap this up for YouTube first. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know how it goes. Uh, we'll be back with some more. We're so close to the end now, but I don't know how close we are. It could be still a little while. The research is happening and everything. We're just getting the cataphract armor. Uh, we're gonna get the starflight basics and then do all the research for that and then get a, a, a persona core as well to put in the ships. So there's a bit to do still, but we're at that point where nothing is really a threat unless it is. You know how it goes. Farewell, everybody. Farewell.